Hi. Hey, now I'm a few minutes early, but I'm usually running late, so I thought maybe I would try to be a little earlier today if I could. I hope you guys are all doing good. I am... I am doing great today. I've had a great day so far. I don't know about you guys. I'd love to hear all about it. I'm going to go ahead and put my, um, I'm going to try to put my link in. And my, you know, I cannot figure out, like, what is, you know what, I'm having a moment. Oh, this is always the way it is, you guys. I'm like, this is ridiculous. Anyway, I'm doing good. I hope you, I hope you guys are doing good. Um... And I hope, I hope everybody's having a good day so far. So, I am trying to post it in my Facebook group, but the, I can't figure out how to fix, <laughs> fix the thing. It just keeps coming up and saying, Hey, everybody. Hey, let's make a mess. We were just talking about you last week. Everybody, well, tell me what your first name is, because I don't know. Somebody was telling us we needed to go watch a video of... For you. So we're all, everybody's been going over there. Watch your videos. Hey, Susan. Hi, Valerie. Hi, Pamela. Hi, Brenda. <laughs> you guys are so great. I love you. Dawn. Yay, Dawn. So for who was chatting about Let's Make a Mess last week? One of you girls was saying, you got to go over and watch a video. Can you, come on, girls. Who was it? Tell me who was tell me who it was. <laughs> the post is up, Susan, but you know what it says? It says Fourth of July. I cannot get the Fourth of July thing off. I you know what? It is what it is. Um So that's what's going on with me, you guys. So, thanks for posting it for me, Susan. I appreciate it. Hey, Lisa. So, today we're going to work on a couple of things I thought. Maybe I'd start with a, doing a... If you guys... Did anybody bring their junk mail? i got to plug in my computer, too. So, while well, you guys are all... Well, get your coffee. Get your water. Get your stuff. I pulled out some stamps. And I got all my laces and stuff ready to go. Hey, Jen. Nice to meet you. Everybody, let's make a mess. His name is Dawn. So everybody make sure you go over and check her YouTube channel out. Who was chatting about her last week? You guys get my vodka. <laughs> get your vodka. Okay, get your vodka. Get your calamari. All you guys get your calamari. Who's got their calamari? <laughs> I got to plug in my computer. Just give me one second. It's right here. So, how's your day been? Tell me what you ladies have been working on. Tell me what's going on in your world. I have had an excellent day. I've had a, I've had a fun day so far, which is good. Less eventful than most, which is even better, right? Less eventful than most. <laughs> so... We're going to work on our Shabby Chic journals today. Um, I don't know how many of you guys are making along, but we're going to work. Yeah, everybody go over and subscribe to Let's Make a Mess, okay? <laughs> You're not doing too much? Well, we have done, we've been making, we've been making Shabby Chic journals. I do a little of everything. I'm a trash to treasure kind of girl. So we've been making Shabby Chic journals. Oh, I did. I, anyway, what I thought we'd start with today before, because I know Mildred has been working on hers, and, you know, everybody's got their stuff. Did anybody bring their junk mail? You know, these junk mail postcards that um, I was telling you guys to, to, to get? You're making a dum-dum bouquet for your mom's friend? Oh, Jennifer, please post a picture of it. I'd love to see it. 
And for those of you that haven't joined our Facebook group, go on over. It's kind of blown up. I know one of you girls must have posted it somewhere. It's kind of blown up. Okay, so I want to, I have to finish my junk mail. We're definitely going to work on our Shabby Chic Journal. So if anybody wants to work on that along, you can work on anything. How many of you guys made your birds? Anybody besides me make birds? Hey, Debbie. All you lurkers out there, just say, hey. You know what? I just want you guys to know, at least you're cleaning your art room again. Oh, please. Can one of you guys come to my house? <laughs> the gr Our group is called Crafting Mamas on Facebook. You killed a bird, Susan? Woohoo! Okay. Make your birds. You know, there's been some... Just, some of you guys have posted some amazing birds in the in the, in our group, and I think it's awesome. I don't have mine close by. I was I didn't even climb in the window today um, to get it out. I could have, but I didn't. It's super windy here today, so I went and cleaned up my yard a little bit before this, so the stuff doesn't fly around. Don't even worry about it, Dawn. We're all we all have those moments. You wait. When you hang out long enough with us, you'll be like. You'll be good and toasted. <laughs> so, we're going to work on this. For those of you who want to work on your birds, work on your birds. We're going to definitely work on some birds on Friday. We're going to work on a couple more Christmas or holiday ornaments for our Christmas in July. And I'll show you guys how to make our junk mail card. But what I want to do really quick before we like get too heavy into our um, gluing of our Shabby Chic journal. Um, I want to make this postcard. I want to finish making a postcard and I wanted to talk to you guys about that. <laughs> You're watching and learning. Debbie, you might just learn some ridiculous stuff from us. So, or maybe you won't learn anything. So save these junk mail postcards, you guys. They, they're a really great weight and I started making one for my friend. Awesome. <laughs> Tell me who else is here. Just shout it out. Is Mildred here yet? Because you've been working on your 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 journal too. Anyway, so I know all of you guys like to get happy mail, right? There's not one of you that doesn't like to get happy mail. So I use I save the heavier duty, or even this is fine too. I and you can also save it from the inserts of magazines. You love junk mail postcards for crafting? Me too. I'm like a little bit obsessed with them, Renee. <laughs> I'm totally obsessed with junk mail postcards. So I save them and I, make po I, mean, I send them out as happy mail. So that's what I do. So I thought before we started and jumped into our junk mail, because I have to get this one in the mail, I mailed a lady a postcard and it got, and she never got it. I, somebody must have gotten it. But then she moved. So I have a feeling it you know, like when you move, stuff happens. So, somebody sent me a thing to, uh, somebody sent me uh, a note saying, like, what's up with your junk mail postcards, da 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 So, I thought, they take, like, no time. They're like the serendipity paper. How many of you guys made serendipity, have been making serendipity paper? Or one-of-a-kind paper, or... No, I don't even know why my friend told me the name of it was that, but that's what she told me when she saw what I was making. I did not make it up. Hey, Mildred. Hi, Kayala. How are you? Happy to see you back. So, don't get all upset. We're going to work on our shabby chic journals, but before we do, let's make a junk mail postcard. And you can you don't even need to make it out of junk mail. You can make it out of a book page, okay? So doesn't have to be, um, this is, you know, like where last week I had all the, that glue. I was just trying to glue all the paper. So for those of you that haven't joined us, serendipity paper, which of course I don't have a piece in front of me, is one of a kind paper where you glue all your scraps of piece of paper together on top of something else. And then you use that paper. Uh, you guys, didn't I make a journal with one? I think it's over here. And you use that paper to cover other stuff. So you can use all of your scrap mail. Everything. All your scrap bits. All your... All your cool stuff. You know, anything that you have. You guys, I'm saying... I thought I had it in here. It must be in my head that I have it. Oh my god, you guys. 
this is what I get for cleaning up. This is totally what I get for cleaning up. So anyway, I thought I had the journal cover over here, but my daughter came over and she took some of the ones that I made and maybe she took that one too. It wasn't even finished. It just had the elastic in it. Oh well. So that's good. I also like to make, um, what else are you guys saying? Junkin' and gluing. I like junkin' and gluing. Me too. <laughs> so, make yourself a piece of serendipity paper, and I'll show you guys how to do that really quick for those of you that are just joining us. It's like so easy. There's nothing to it. And I have a huge amount of book blocks, as you guys all know, so I like to use that. But you can glue it onto anything. So, it's the same premise for this card, okay? Hi, Lisa. So, all I'm going to do for my serendipity paper is I am going to glue glue other pieces of paper on top of this and it can be anything okay and don't it can be ugly and don't even worry about it because it turns out great no matter what okay now I use glue stick for this but you can use wet glue the only reason why I use glue stick is because sometimes after I've made it I want to glue it onto something with a with wet glue okay so make your paper and then we're gonna make a junk pile postcard and then we're gonna start our We'll start the bits of the Shabby Chic Journal that um, will go. How many of you guys are making the Shabby Chic Journal with me? Are, are a lot of you guys making it or no? Now you guys know me. I love every kind of font, every kind of book page, and I jelly print on them. And I know you guys are going to call me Jelly Shelly, but that's great because that's who I am. I, I embrace that. I embrace Jelly Shelly. And you know what? It may not look good initially, but it always comes out good in the end. So I don't want you to think about it. It always looks good in the end. So we could call it good idea paper. <laughs> we can call it anything you want to call it. I don't care. So this is how mine starts. And you guys do it any way that works for you. And I glue everything to it. So you know how you have like all these bits all over your desk, or maybe I'm the only one that does? But I do. I have like little bits of paper and they're all different fonts and different kinds of paper because I cut up book pages. They're my favorite thing in the whole world to cut up. Can you imagine what our parents would say for all of you that grew up when your parents were like, you can't do that. You can't write in books. You know, think about it. I'm sure that books have been ending up in landfills forever, right? And we just didn't know it. Hey, Bet! Renee says she's using her son's excessive medical instruction manuals. That's awesome. That is awesome. I mean, not that he has excessive medical instruction manuals, but that you're using them. Because how many of you guys have so much junk mail and stuff like that? I mean, I certainly do, right? I have a lot of it. I, I'm just spraying some of my book pages so they look different colors. And you guys know I'm obsessed with this Lundy's Stamp Gangs sprays. For those of you that don't know, I am. That and jelly printing. Right? You guys, that and jelly printing, those are my thing. This one's a little wet. I need to let it dry. So, anyway, that is what... So make your serendipity paper, and then I'll show you what we'll do next, and we'll put it, to, we'll put it with our junk mail postcard. So tell me about what you guys have been up to all week. I, I, would, I really would love to hear what's going on in your world. You guys always know what's going on in mine. I always got something silly. Hi, Laurel. You're not late. You're making tea. You're never late, you guys. Even if you get here for five minutes. That, that's perfect, you know. You have to do what works for you. Okay, all you lurkers out there. I just wanted to let you know. We cannot see you. Okay, I can see how many people, but we can't see your face. So if you just say hi, nobody will even know who you are anyway. So just say hi. Go, hey, I'm here. Um, it's the background noise. 
I don't know, what do you guys hear? Is it the wind? Because I don't hear it. It could be the birds. Is it the wind? You're going to craft along today? Awesome, Laurel. Well, I'm just making some serendipity paper really quick because I want to finish this postcard for my friend. And I had, um, I had a, um, a minute or two because I know that some of you really want to do the journal. It's like a fan. Hmm. It could be, it could be the fan inside my Mac. It could totally be the fan inside my Mac. You know, sometimes it, it's a, it were, it's, it's, um, because I have my computer on. Hang on a second and I'll try to lift it up off of the, because I, because the only way for me to see you guys is on my Mac. That's how it is. Like, I don't, um, let me see if I can, let me see if I can raise up the computer and maybe that. It sounds like it's skipping. You guys, I don't know. There's always got to be something. Like, it can't ever be just, like, plain good or regular. I don't know. Because it doesn't do it when I make regular videos. So, I don't know. Is that better or worse? Can you guys... I think it is. The, I think it's the fan for my Mac. I honestly think that's what it is. And I don't know how to... Is it better? Okay. You guys, I don't know how to not make it work. I don't know how to... I guess I have to get something else. I have to get a different computer or something to use with it. But I don't have one, so I can't right now. I hit the thing. Better? Okay, good. Much better? I don't know, you guys. I do it the same way every week, and I don't change anything, so I don't know. It's good now? <laughs> you guys, it's so crazy. I'm sorry. It's interference from my camera? Hmm, I don't know how to fix that. No, I don't know how to fix it. Maybe I need to get a new camera. I don't know, you guys. So get your serendipity paper going or get your postcard stuff going. If you're going to make along, if you're going to make some postcards with us. If you feel like it, you don't have to, obviously. But. You guys, I don't know. I haven't figured out. I had so many camera issues when I first started doing YouTube stuff. I... It's just, it's sometimes beyond my, my comprehension and capacity of like the ridiculous, whatever I, okay, you said, Diana said, whatever I moved it to make it farther, make it better farther away. No, I hit it with my head. <laughs> it's, it's suspended above me. I can't make it farther away. I put, I put my laptop, the laptop is what is on, the laptop is sort of like at arm's length in front of me, and that's what runs the program that runs the, but the camera is right above my head. I don't know, you guys, I'm not, you guys are better at this than me, not me. Okay, so get your serendipity paper going. Get some, get some bits and pieces and get some all kinds of stuff going on it. Get your serendipity paper. <laughs> I need to relax, Susan. You're probably right. I probably do need to relax. Although I haven't had... Today's been a good day. I, I, I will not complain. I have had a good day today. I have totally had a good day. So far, I've had a good day. I haven't had any... Like, I haven't had too many... I didn't, haven't ha had actually any ridiculousness that I can think of. I mean, not compared to my normal ridiculousness, you guys know. You guys know my normal ridiculousness. I haven't had any of that, so I feel like I'm doing good. I've had a great day. 
But I will tell you guys a funny story. So yesterday, I was like, yesterday I was in the middle of like a, a meditation. I was sitting in my bed and I was, I always, I meditate every day. I told you guys that already. I meditate every single day. And, and I don't, and sometimes it's for long periods and sometimes it isn't. I mean, there's no, no rhyme or reason. And it's really just about me being quiet and trying not to overthink my life, right? That's really all it is. So I'm in the middle of this meditation and I have a dog sitting next to me, right? My little rescue dog that I love, you know, Charlie. And I'm just sitting there and I'm super quiet and I'm feeling really good. I'm like, uh, maybe I've been meditating, I don't know, five, ten minutes max. I don't know how long it's been. And I hear like right outside because my bedroom opens up to to the backyard it opens up to and it's got like a sliding glass door like a patio door and I leave it open so the dog can run in and out right to the backyard and I hear this flapping 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 and I have my eyes closed and I'm thinking am I imagining this or is this really happening it's flapping 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 and I hear more flapping and I hear more flapping and I open my eyes, you guys, and the cat has caught a dove. And it is in my bedroom, on my bed. With the dove, flapping its wings. Oh my God, you guys. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> and I'm home alone. So I'm like, okay. I was like, okay. If I yell at the cat, the cat's gonna drop the bird. The bird is gonna fly in the house. You know what I mean? And the dog's like sitting next to me like freaked out. And I'm like, okay, what do I do? Because the cat has got this bird pinned on my bed and it's flapping its wings. And I'm like, okay. So I sort of slowly slide out of the bed. And I don't want the dog to start barking because I'm afraid he'll scare the cat. And then the cat's going to let the bird go. And then the bird's going to be in the house. So I slide off the bed. And I come and I walk like I'm walking outside and I call the dog and the dog jumps off the bed. Meanwhile, the cat's still sitting there with the bed, you know, with the bird on the bed, right? And I'm just like, hi, Victor. Hi, Danina. And so I'm sitting there and I have my, I'm just like, please, 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 universe. I, the, the day's been so great. I don't want dead birds or birds. I don't want to, you know. And I walk around, and the cat's still sitting there, but the cat's not facing me because it's on the bed, was facing me, and I'm walking around behind him, and I grab the cat as fast as I can, and I throw the cat out the door, and I yell, and the cat releases the bird, and the bird flies away. Meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile, the dog thinks he's in trouble. So the dog, because you know the dog's a rescue, right? So the dog thinks she's in trouble, so the dog starts freaking out and runs under the bed, Needless to say, I couldn't get the dog out from under the bed for quite a while, but I didn't have a bird mishap, and the bird, the bird lived. You know, the cat, our cat's good. She doesn't usually, she's been really good, you know. She hasn't really done too much, but yesterday was like that. So for those of you that have just joined us, we're going to make some serendipity paper first, which is just scraps of paper or one-of-a-kind paper that's on top of each other. Then I'm gonna, I might paint on it a little bit, I might stamp on it a little bit, and then I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with it next. So that's how. Hi, Anne, Lisa. So, Bet saying, hi everybody, hi Shelly, hi Anne, hi Lisa, hi Pamela, hi Laurel, hi Mildred, hi Alta, hi Victor, hi Danina. <laughs> oh, and, and you have to, and let's make a mess is here too, and her name is Dawn. So everybody, Victor, I watched your um, champagne bottle flower tutorial. I love it. I'm definitely going to do it. And I pinned it in the last video. You guys, in the last video that I did, at the bottom, if you look in the description box, there is... Hey, Pamela. If you live, look in the description box at the very bottom, you know... Hi, Kathy. Um, it has Victor's video pinned in it. And he takes the foil off of champagne bottles and off of 
not just champagne bottles, but off of um, wine bottles, and he makes flowers out of them, and they're gorgeous. So you guys go over and check out that video. It's definitely worth a watch, and it's worth it if you guys um, like to recycle like me. So we're just making one of a kind paper for a few minutes, girls, before we start our... We're making our serendipity paper, our one of a kind paper. And don't, don't worry that it doesn't look good, because you're not going to end up leaving it like this. Okay, so I don't want anybody to go, well, mine looks ugly. Because it doesn't matter. You're, it's like using up all your scraps. And that's, that's all it is, okay? You're just gluing down your scraps. Yeah, everybody say hi to Kayala. Kayala is from Kauai, right? Kayala, isn't that what you told me? But you live, do you live, where do you live now? In Arkansas? Is that what you said or am I making that up? I love Mr. Victor Crafter too. Victor, we love you. Thanks, you guys, for your support and everybody that's joined um, our Facebook group. And thanks for all of you that are making Noni's grandmother a 100-year birthday card. It's not too late. You guys can, anybody can join. Um, if you go over to our group, you'll see the address of where to send Noni's grandmother a card. We can make a meander book. Those are fun. We used to call them a Jacob's Ladder book. Have you guys ever made one? And Victor's saying he's already gathered a solid collection of this foil from Champagne. Ooh, Victor. <laughs> Hi, Fiona Jane. Oh my goodness, you guys are so funny. I, I want to definitely make them. I'm definitely going to make them. In fact, if I gather up enough, I don't drink champagne, but I'll find somebody that does, and I'll gather up enough so that we can do it together. Maybe we'll do it in our live stream, Victor, and you can just, like, give us the pointers as we're doing it. You can tell us, oh, that's terrible, girls, or that's great, girls. <laughs> hey, Anne, it is a good reason to drink. It's a good reason to drink. <laughs> So Kayla, and hi Kathy, yes, Kayla is from Kauai, but now she lives in Arkansas. Do you like living in Arkansas? They have lots of barbecue places in Arkansas, yeah? I haven't been in eons. I had a cousin that lived in Arkansas. We used to go occasionally when I was growing up. So that was my crazy story, girls, my ridiculous bird story. Are any of you guys still laughing over the calamari story from last week? I have had some very definite belly laughs over that. Has anybody besides me had some belly laughs over, over that? Oh my god. That, I have to tell you, has made me laugh more than once this week. Oh my gosh. It's 421 in the morning, Victor. Oh my gosh, what are you doing awake? Are you a night owl like, like me? I'm a night owl. You like it? You like the, you like your, you like Arkansas, but it's not your home? Yeah, if you've ever lived on Kauai, anyone or ever visited, it's one of the most beautiful places on the planet. <laughs> Brenda says, if I drink enough, if I drink enough wine, I won't care what my foil flowers look like. You are right, Brenda. You always have, you always have good advice. You are right. Okay, you guys are so funny. That just makes me laugh. Did any of you guys, I know Mildred watched, because Mildred and I saw each other over there. Did anybody go over and watch Caged Fish today? She, Carla, the one that we, I really love, her name is Caged Fish. She has a Facebook group called Art Experiments. And her name is Carla. And she 
does lots of collage and she's awesome and she does a live stream every Tuesday at 2 o'clock Eastern Standard Time on Ustream. Oh, you're making, Fiona says that she's late. You're not late, Fiona. Nobody's ever late. Um, she says she's late because she's getting together all of her stuff to make Noni's grandma her, her card. Aww. You guys, can you imagine turning 100? That's how you found out about me at, at going to see Carla. Well, welcome, man. I'm happy that you're here. I love Carla. Victor says, sometimes it turns out it's so early to get, it's too early to get up, so he sleeps until 7 or 8. You know what, Victor? I get up to watch Dee Dee Willingham at the same time, because it's like 4 o'clock in the morning, or maybe even 3 o'clock in the morning, my time when she when she streams. And I get up to watch her. And then I go back, to, sometimes I take a nap and go back to sleep. Okay, so get your serendipity paper for those of you that are making it, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with mine. Now, if you have a die cutting machine, it's a great tease for that. I'm just going to freehand a couple of things on mine. I'm going to stamp and paint on it a little bit before I finish because I still have some like... The idea is try not to leave any white spots if you can. And the, I think the messier and busier it looks, the better it looks. That's what I think personally. She is awesome, Anne. I really like her a lot. I like her a lot. So I can't imagine turning... Um, her grandmother, Noni's grandmother, who's on, Noni's name on our Facebook group is Angela, but on YouTube it's Noni. Her grandmother is turning 100, and so we're celebrating by sending her grandmother a birthday card. So anybody that wants to send her grandmother a birthday card, go over to our Facebook group and join, and then it has... I had to repost it in the event. I may have to repost it a couple more times, but I'm keeping track of those that have, uh, yeah, from now until, you can send it anytime. She's going to be 100 all year, but I'm doing a giveaway. If you, if you give her grandmother a card, if you send her grandmother a card, I'm going to enter you in a random drawing, and I'm going to put together, like, a really cool kit for you, like a junk journal kit, a bunch of Hawaii stuff and a bunch of, uh, just a bunch of cool stuff because I collect a lot of, you guys know, you know my story. I collect a bunch of crazy stuff. I collect a lot of vintage books and cool stuff and... You know what, Fiona Jane? They, Facebook changed its, um, I don't know, its, its thing. And so you used to be able to go in and post, like if you post an event, you could change the date, but now you can't change the date once the event has posted. So unfortunately what I did was, and it only lets you post for two for a two week interval. Like it can only, you, the beginning date and the ending date have to be less than two weeks apart. So it, it just archived it is what it did. So I just have to be on top of it and, and just go back in. That's all. So I am going to, Make your serendipity paper. Everybody's get get their serendipity paper together. My neighbors, my neighbors are coming home, so the dog is gonna bark. I'm sorry. She's she can't. She doesn't know enough not to. When we first got her, she didn't say a peep forever. So the fact that she's barking, I think she's happier. Hey, Susan. Did you guys go over and join Susan's group? Susan posted it in our group. Susan, tell everybody about your Facebook group. So maybe somebody here wants to join too. Somebody that's not in our Facebook group. Tell them all about your Facebook group. I joined. You know, you guys, I'm all about sharing and I'm all about supporting each other, so... So, so yeah... I'm missing it. I'm trying to. Hi, Joyce. I'm all about support. I think there's enough in this world to go around for all of us. So go and support each other, you know. And who knows who you're going to meet. You might meet, like, your best friend in another Facebook group. You might meet, like, your crafty best friend. 
Like, who was telling us last week? Tell me. Remember, um, Danina, who, you and Brenda are crafty best friends? Am I wrong? So, you, you might meet your crafty best friend. I met, I met one of my crafty best friends in, in a Facebook group. And we just, like, we send each other pictures of whatever we're working on. So get your paper good and ugly, okay? Can you guys do that before we, before we go to the next step? I'm going to, I may take mine to the die cutting machine if I can, because they look really great. I just don't know if I can find this die. I don't know where it is. They look really great. And if you, somebody told me last week that they don't like to fussy cut. Who is it in here? Or was it, was it one of you guys that said, do you think fussy cutting is ridiculous? There's a couple of Susans. So, one Susan Z does not have a Facebook group that I know of, but Susan, the other Susan does. Susan Studwell, she has a Facebook group. And it's called, what is it called, Susan? Tell everybody what your Facebook group is called, because I don't remember. Because my head, I can't, my mind doesn't work like that anymore. I used to be able to remember everything, and now I think I just don't remember anything. Okay, I may paint the edges. I'm going to spray this or something. Needs definitely needs a little bit of something, but... I know, I joined too. I'm excited. It's making your dogs bark. Oh my gosh. You know what? That happens. Does anybody else like ever watch a television show and your dog starts barking because like there's something on TV that's barking? She does every single time. And, I, and we just laugh like a doorbell. We don't have a doorbell in our house. So obviously she must have lived in a house with a doorbell at some point. So we, we, we all of a sudden she'll be like, she'll, she'll be uh, barking at the door and it should be, there'll be something on television and she'll bark at the doorbell. It's so funny. We laugh so hard. She's like, she's, and she, and then she also runs to the door thinking somebody's here. We don't even have a doorbell, so. So if you want to spray a little bit on top, do that. I'm just going to show you, like, I need some, I need some stuff, you guys, but I don't have my stencils or anything here. I have a little stencil, but it's kind of a weird stencil. Maybe it'll work. Um, you can stamp and stencil and... Okay, I'm missing what you guys are saying. Your friend calls it cranky cutting, Alta. Oh, that's brilliant. We should call it cranky cutting. Oh, Jennifer, please post your dumb dumb bouquet. I want to see it. Bye, Don. See you soon. We'll come out. We'll come over and see you. And if you post your things in the in the Facebook group, you'll get more people to come over and watch you. Who else has it? You guys, who else has a Facebook, I mean, who else has a YouTube channel that they, um, Mr. Victor Crab, that you really want to have people come over and see, listen and help and hang out with you and that sort of stuff. Post it. If you guys do live streams, post it. And go to our Facebook group and post it too, you know. I have no issue with that. You know me, the more the merrier. That's what I feel. Hi, Trish. So, so let's, uh, maybe I'll do a little bit more on this side. I know it looks ugly now, and that's, it's fine. It's not going to look ugly when I'm done. Well, it might. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it will. I shouldn't say that. It might really look ugly. Um... Well, Brenda, make sure you guys post in our group where your Facebook challenge, your Facebook and your, I mean, post in our Facebook group your, um, your, your YouTube channels, okay? There's a link in there that's a, that gives everybody the opportunity to post their Facebook group, I mean, post their, uh, YouTube channels. 
You guys never know. You may meet your crafty best friend. You never know where you're going to meet your crafty best friend. Am I the only one that thinks that? Am I the only one that thinks that you never know where you're going to meet your crafty best friend? I'm going to use my one of my die cuts as a stencil because it's made out of a tea box anyway, but is the fan thing better, you guys? It might have been bad because the computer was on and it had it sitting on top of something and maybe that's why it gets loud. You know, I had it sitting on top of uh, on top of a container. One day when I show you guys where I work, you guys will laugh. They'll be like, oh my gosh. You're ridiculous. And then I can say, yes, I am ridiculous. I'm ridiculous and I'm proud of it. I am ridiculous. I'm ridiculous. I'm ridiculous and I'm proud of it. YouTube is your crafty best friend, Trish. I was talking about, like, you know, I've met some amazing people from having a YouTube channel. Never in my wildest dream. Hi, Stacy. Stacy says she thinks that she's met her, her crafty best friend. Wait, Stacy says, I think I've met my crafty best friend online. I'm blessed to have a friend. Oh, you know what? I feel the same way, Stacy. But you guys are my peeps, so I feel that way about all of you, too. You know, and I love it. That's why I love, you know, when I see what you guys are doing, it makes me, like, feel like I know you even more, you know? Makes me feel like, makes me feel excited to see what you guys are creating. Guys, I'm doing the, the diaper wipe stenciling style. Fiona Jane says she met her sissy, and we call each other on on her Facebook group page a year ago. Awesome! She taught, they talk every day for ages and they're like twins and she's the sunshine in her life. Oh my gosh, Fiona Jane, that is so beautiful. That is so beautiful. Well, that's why I'm a firm believer that there's enough in the world for everyone and so, you know, I want you guys to support each other, and I want you guys to feel like you can post your stuff in our group. I don't want you to think it's about, all about me, because trust me, it is not all about me. It is so not all about me. It is not. Why would I want it to be all about me? How boring would that be? That would be ridiculous. Alright, so get your serendipity paper as ugly as you can. <laughs> Susan and Bette. They, they, she lives with her crafty best friend. You guys told us the best story to having been friends for 35 years. I have to tell you. So I wanted to share this with you. That, this is, that's a great thing to share. So you guys were telling me, we were talking about, um, we were talking about, you guys were sharing that you had met each other 35 years ago and you've been best friends ever since, right? And that's, so my... One of my dearest, I would consider her definitely one of my best friends, and I, and we've known each other for, oh my gosh, probably a little bit longer than that, than 35 years, um, because my mom used to have a dancing school. My mother was a dancer. She had a dancing school, and we met, I think her older sister might have, must have taken dancing from my mom. Anyway, we haven't seen each other in years. We used to keep up all the time, and then... She moved, and I moved, and, you know, I travel all the time, and so my life doesn't always lend me, I don't always have the consistency that everyone else does, like, anyway, she moved, and I moved, and I don't know, so, remember I was telling you guys that my sister went for her birthday to see our, our aunt, our mom's sister? For, uh, we were talking about birthdays the other day. Well, and my sister, I called my sister while she was there to wish her a happy birthday. And my aunt got on the phone and she was so sweet. And she said, I just want to tell you that your friend 
So my childhood friend that I haven't seen or talked to in ages had just that day that we talked about it, that and Susan, had called, had found my aunt, called my aunt and gave her her new number. So I talked to her. And I've talked to her every day since then. So whenever we had that conversation, I've talked to her every day since. It's like so awesome. So that was because of you guys. Kathy's saying she doesn't have anyone to craft with, but when her friend needs something, they know who, she, who to call. Aw. Kathy, you know what? We're your friends, and we will craft with you. You have no, you don't have to worry about that. You've got some crafty peeps right here. Okay, is your serendipity paper ugly enough? Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to, you can kind of look at it and everything, and you can go, ah, whatever. And, you know, if you wanted to go for it and use it as a cover or something, obviously you could. But I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with mine. I'm going to freehand cut some of it. But let me see if I can find this die. It's ugly. It's good and ugly. But it's okay because, like, if you make pages and pages and pages of this, let me see if I can find a punch. You guys, I wasn't planning on doing this, so. And I still haven't moved half of, I would say 90% of my stuff is outside in my garage while they're still, they still haven't finished fixing the bits that are broken. And remember I told you guys my stove blew up? They haven't finished fixing it. So... Oh, I think I have it. Yay! Um, they haven't finished fixing my stove, so because they haven't finished fixing it, I haven't moved all my stuff back in. Give me one second. I'll be right there. I'll be right back. Doing my die cutting machine really quick. So I haven't been able to move all my stuff back in yet, but I will. So I'll move it all back in. Okay, I just want you to see. You don't need a die to do this with you could cut it freehand, but see out of the ugly bit, like look. Look how cool these flowers turned out. Add a serendipity paper. Let me put on something so you can see it instead of seeing it on my... I don't know if I have any blank paper, you guys. I'm like the worst. What a not good crafter I am. Do you see? Do you see how cool they come out? Do you see how cool they come out? They come out so cool. Now, you could fussy cut any of this. I'm just using this because it's easier... Look, and I have some other more intricate, the better, I think the more intricate the die, the better, but you can use it anyway. Then you don't see all the pieces so close together. Give me one more minute, I'll be right back. I think that we are all really lucky, first of all, that we found each other, and second of all, that we can talk to and see each other and see our crafts and our, our stuff all the time and share it with each other. I mean, how lucky are we? How lucky are we? I think that we, like, rock it out, and we are so lucky to have each other that way. We're so super lucky. I'm almost done, you guys. I'm sorry. I wasn't planning on this. And, I, and this, and the, and the big shot is too big to. Maybe it isn't. Hang on, let me see. I don't know if I can put it on my table. The, the big shot. What are you guys talking about? I'm missing it. Like, look at this one. Didn't that one come out awesome? I love that. What do you guys think? 
You coming back, Joyce? Okay. <laughs> Jennifer just posted, she needs a crafty best friend. Okay, let me just show you. I don't know if my big shot's going to fit here on this desk, but let me see. Okay, because it's so tiny here. You guys, if you saw how small the space is that I'm working in, you'd be like, what in the hell are you doing? Okay. So I'm using, this is one of my favorite dies. It's a Tim Holtz tattered floral die, and it has four um, dies on it. But what I've done is, I, I mean, four flowers on it. So, But what I've done is I have, because I just want one of the flowers, I don't want all the flowers. I've cut my piece almost to the same size of the flower that I'm going to make. And then I've just stuck it over it. And you put it between, if you've never used a Biggs die, it's this really big die. And you have to put it between two, you have to sandwich it between two um, plates that the machine comes with. And you crank it. It's like no big deal. Hey, Sherry. Sherry, I saw your post about your surgery. And I, I'm sending you lots of prayers and lots of love. I, I hope everything goes well. Hey, Lynn. Okay, the reason this one, I mean, it's sticky because it's not, I didn't let it totally dry. But you, do you guys see, out of that ugly paper, I want you to see, out of that ugly paper that we made, out of our ugly serendipity paper I've made I've made these flowers so if you I mean then you can fussy cut this you don't have to use it as a bet lick can you guys see what am I missing I'm missing you guys talking and I can't see hi Ash I'm so happy to see you guys all here, but do you see how cool they look? And if you're into mixed media work, I mean, this is also a great way to use your scraps, like any scrap that you have, right? I think I have one more piece of that paper. What did I do with it? You guys, I brought it back over here with me. My desk is such a mess. I can't see any of it. Here it is. Okay, let me see. So I did those flowers. Maybe I'll do some small ones. They don't look so bad small, but I, I really liked how they come out. What do you guys think? right they're cool so i don't so when you guys this just has what i was going to be thrown away as my trash right so if you guys if you guys start making your own serendipity paper save it if you send happy mail send it in your happy mail i mean can you imagine and if you get some really more intricate dies they work really it, it i have one that i love i just don't know where it is i'll try to find it for next time what am I missing? <coughs> Hi, Stacy. You know what? The thing is, is you don't even have to save up any scraps, Stacy. Do you have any books that you've taken apart? If you've taken some books apart, you'll end up with all different fonts of pages, and they work just as good. <coughs> they work just as good they it makes like cool papers no matter what it's like I don't know I like doing it I told you guys I figured this out this is before I actually had a die cutting machine but I this is what I did when I thought that you had to make everything remember I've had that conversation with you guys I thought you had to make your paper like don't ask me what I was thinking you guys I, I thought you had to when you <laughs> That tells you where my head is. I thought that everything that you made in scrapbooking, or not scrapbooking, but in junk journaling, that you had to make yourself. All right, I'm missing it. I know, the flowers come out cool. What did I, what? What happened, Lynn? I missed the part. Who's saying they're sorry and why? Anyway, I'm telling you, you can use anything. Glue magazine pages together. It doesn't matter. The whole point is, it's just your, it's your crappy scraps. It's like scraps that maybe you wouldn't, maybe you would never have done anything with. 
Maybe you would never have done anything at all with these scraps, right? They're just like bits and pieces of stuff that you had from everywhere. So maybe you wouldn't have done anything with them. And then because of that, because of this, you'll, you'll make something with them, right? Does that make sense? from trash they're just made from trash ash they're not like fabulous or whatever but they're oh no Lynn I'm sending you prayers is everything okay how old is your baby how old is your baby Lynn that's like the worst when your kids are sick it's horrible It's not a black block, Anne. It's called a Biggs dye. There, there's a couple of different kind of dyes. There are these thin dyes, and then it's a dye itself. This is a Tim Holtz dye. You know what? You guys use YouTube and learn how to use your Big Shots, because I can tell you that there's a lady on there. I remember when I first got mine, which I've had it for a few years now, but when I first got mine, I went on. They don't tell you anything in the book that you get or whatever the little instruction pamphlet or page that they send send it to you in right so you don't learn anything but where you learn is from other crafters who've figured it out so that's what that's what I've learned okay I've learned that you that you learn and you figure you learn from other crafters that are willing to share and there's lots of ladies out there that are generous with their with their information and will totally share with you um, but this is not a block. It's it's, a, it's an actual die. The steel dies inside, and it's got a foamy thing. It's like foam on top, like foam rubber. And you put it. You have to put it between these two plates. And they the plates come with the machine. The die doesn't, unless you bought unless you bought a machine that, unless you bought a package deal where they were, you know, giving dies or whatever. Sometimes you can get that. And. They're my favorite kind of dies to use. They're pricey, but I was sharing with Susan, Susan Z, that if you, there's a lot of groups on Facebook where people are de-stashing their dies. And so the, normally these dies could be really expensive, but if you go on Facebook and you join a group that where the ladies are de-stashing them, you can get them for like 4 and $5 a die. And they're normally like, I don't know, what are they normally, $25 a die? I don't know. Diana and I have this conversation all the time because she just got a die cutting machine and so these are the flowers that I made from my serendipity paper. What's cool about it is you can do anything. You don't just have to do flowers. You could do you know anything. If you have those feather dies, use those. You know what's really cool about them is if you decide to make the flowers layered they come out amazing. Amazing. It's my favorite dye. I don't have as many as many of you do, but I have a few, and this is one of my favorite ones. But out of that really ugly paper, this is what we got. So what do you guys think? Can I tell you, Danina, you were going to fall in love with it. Okay, so you're going to go on a... You guys see, I can't even hold my stuff, and I almost knocked over my coffee, which would not have been good. But you're going to love using it. It's it's the easiest thing. It, it seems intimidating, but it isn't, okay? So when you get it out, first of all, you can message me anytime. I may not know the answer, but I can certainly help you with what I do know. But when you get it out, first of all, find a couple of dies that you want. There's a couple of Facebook groups, and I posted it in our Facebook group, but I'll go back and post it again. I'll post them in places why. That you can buy these dies. I would also look on Craigslist, also look on eBay, and, and go to the Sizzix website too because if you go to, the, not that you're going to pay for them and buy them directly from there, but if you go, you'll at least see what they have and you'll see what you like. This one's called Alterations Tattered Florals Die. And I've used it for everything. I've made fabric flowers, paper flowers, I've made paper bag flowers, I've made everything from it. Hi, Jenny. Hi, hey, Tina. Hey, 
So, I'm just telling you, the thin dies are just, I don't have one in front of me, they're just the metal, right? And you have to put them, you have to put a special platform and put these thing, put the clear things through. These, these are just steel cut dies and, and they, um, can cut, they cut through a lot of stuff, cardboard, fabric, you name it, all right? Now the whole reason why I was even showing you how to do this was because I was going to finish that postcard for my friend. Right, it's under my pile of junk here, right? But look how cool they would look. And I don't know if I'm going to put them all on there. I'm going to put a few of them on there. I mean, look how cool they'll look on there. You know? So, like, if you're into Happy Mail and you're into doing that and you don't want to spend a lot of money and you already have a die cutting machine, and if you don't have a die cutting machine, all you need to do is get a stencil out, draw around it, and fussy cut it. Okay? Yeah, the thick dies, they can cut felt, burlap, I've cut jeans, I've cut, um, I don't know, every kind of thing. Yellow Sun, tell me your first name so I don't call you Yellow Sun unless you want me to call you Yellow Sun. Yeah, the thinlet dies only use paper. You can cut this serendipity paper with thinlet dies. You can also cut it. You can also cut it with. Um, you can also cut it with. You can cut it with thinlet dies, and you can cut it with those little. Um, what are the other ones called? Sizzlet dies. Okay. I know, aren't they cool? And it was just out of, it was out of like crappy bits that you were gonna, that I was gonna throw away, right? They weren't, weren't anything special. They were not anything special. So, I'm gonna finish this postcard for a second, and then we're gonna start gluing on our. How many of you guys are doing shabby chic with me? Because I've got my stuff all right here, ready to go, with my shabby chic. And I coffee dyed a bunch of papers. I coffee, I jumped in and I coffee dyed a bunch of papers. Yeah, I made the paper. It was just some paper that I just made it right here while you guys were hanging out. It was nothing. It was just, it was paper that I just glued a bunch of bits on my I, I taught Tina Tina I glued a bunch of bits on it Tina it wasn't anything that spectacular okay it was it wasn't so I was just telling everybody that back when I first started doing making paper crafting I thought that you had to make everything so I thought you had to make your own paper like if you were gonna do some sort of um, if you were gonna do some crafting or send anybody anything that you had to make one of a kind paper. You guys, I don't know why I thought it. I, you know me. I can't do anything easy. You know me. I've told you guys a million times. I have to, I have to, it has to be, I have to do it like, I don't know. I want to put, because I live in Hawaii, everybody expects something from Hawaii. You know, just look around. If you shop around, if you shop around, you can find, okay, um, Serendipity Paper Tina is just, I made it for you guys while you guys were sitting here. It was just, it's where you take, it's where you take all the bits and scraps. Let me see if I have another piece. I have one that I started that I was doing it last week because I had extra glue. Okay, so here, this would be the beginning of it. Okay, it was a book page. One side was a book page. And I had a bunch of junk on my desk. You just glue random pieces of paper all over here, right? And then you stamp on it, and you put magazine pages on it, you paint on it, spray on it, do whatever you want. Until you don't want to have any white spaces, or very few white spaces. And then you cut it out, you use it, you can do it any, you can do it any way you want to do it. And I don't know why it's called serendipity paper, 
the story was I was making this thing and this friend of mine who's a big paper crafter came over and she says oh I love your serendipity paper and I thought that was a brand I was like I have serendipity paper show me which one that which brand of that and she goes no no that's because I was gluing everything from like I, I did a whole monochromatic thing I did a whole thing where I did everything from like brown paper newspaper book page fonts that sort of stuff and I painted on it scribbled on it and then I did it like that so that's what serendipity paper I mean this is the beginning of it right and then you just took it to your die cutting machine or you or you fussy cut it or what did you get one of you guys said annoying cut it is that what you called it annoying cut it or you fussy cut it and you and you um And you and you glue it all together. Now I just use a glue stick. I don't use, um, I don't mod podge on top of it. And the reason I don't mod podge on top of it is because if I'm gonna stick it, say I'm say I'm like making my postcard to mail my friend, right? And I wanna, and I want to glue this down. If I've mod podged over it, but this one doesn't have that, you know, it kind of looks weird. Whatever. But you can do it any way you want. I also actually like the textures of the papers. You know, the different shiny flat whatever you I mean you can I but I I just do it you don't have any flower dyes do you have a do you have a big shot Danina and and the other thing is is that do you guys ever do painted papers I mean I make painted papers all the time especially from these book pages right I make tons of painted papers so if I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna make a bunch of painted papers I can also use them that way too. I can use them as serendipity paper or I can use um, them as background papers. But it gives you it gives you an automatic one of a kind thing. So like even if you and I both did this together with the same die, it wouldn't look the same. Does that make sense? Oh Lynn, you're so awesome. Laurel, your piece will be beautiful no matter what. Don't judge it. Don't judge it. Stop, stop, stop judging it. Danina saying she got a Spellbinders Platinum um, die cutting machine at Michael's with a coupon for $65 regularly, $125. That is great. Punches work great, Jen. I just don't have any in front of me. If I had a pun, if I, I wasn't planning on doing this, I don't even know what, how it came out. You know how I work, you guys. I'm like, I gotta be as, I gotta be as whatever. So I want to make this postcard for her because I want to get it in the mail. And I'm kind of liking the composition of what it is. And, and then we'll start. Who, who's, who besides me is making shabby chic? If you're making shabby chic, um, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do today. But you guys can do whatever you want. I'm going to start adding laces to my pages that's the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna add some lace to my pages and I may make some new pot I may make some pockets for the insides I was if you guys have have any of you guys done some intensive tea dyeing like uh, or made tea bag art I think that looks great when you use the the tea bag stuff if you I think it looks great in a shabby chic journal or in a vintage journal, but you guys can do it any way you want. So did anybody else besides me make these ridiculous mixed media postcards? Am I the only one or does anybody else make them too? So that's why I save all those paid, those backgrounds from, I mean, all those junk mail postcards. And then I do this. I make them and and I and I <laughs> you guys make them. Tomorrow's Danina's birthday. Happy birthday, Danina! Why didn't you tell us when we were talking to you like a few days ago? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Danina. Happy birthday to you and many more. Happy 
birthday, Danina. What do you have planned for your birthday? What do you have planned for your birthday? I miss so much you guys are saying. What will be mixed media on yours, Bet? A jelly plate's on your wish list, Pam? Definitely. Get one with a 50% off coupon. Diana was telling me she got one for really cheap with a 50%. You have to wait till their full price at Michael's or at Joanne's and then take one of their 40 or 50% coupons and then go get it. Your kids are coming over to cook dinner? Oh, I would love that. Hi, Mary Kay. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We're happy you're here. Okay. I wanted to put a fish on her postcard, but I don't think I'm going to be able to put a fish because I haven't found one. So, so you guys, is anybody else going to ever make one of these ridiculous postcards like I'm making? The only thing is that I'm going to have to wait till it dries and then, because I got a little sticky, and then I'll take it down to the post office and make sure that they'll actually mail it like this. If not, I'll make an envelope and stick it in an envelope. I mean, I was going to just cover up with the back. You just white out the name and the address because it's my neighbors. They throw it. They, they all know that I make recycled stuff. <laughs> so I get they leave it all for me. You're going to be 21, Danina. That's awesome. You're going to go pick blueberries? Victor was picking blueberries. Where do you live, Trish? I hope you have a good time. We will always love to see you when you come back. You like this postcard? <laughs> Thanks, Liz. <laughs> You should send one like this to Noni's grandmother. She would love it. Can you imagine being 100? I can't. And for her. Oh, I. <laughs> oh, my gosh. You've made these, Anne, and put them in an envelope to mail them? I, I think I might do it, too. I think it'll be, but I think it might get there better if I do. And also, too, can you imagine how many people would handle it in the post office? Anyway, so that's my. I'm gonna clean my hands. I got paint on them. And so, for those of you who are gonna do some shabby chic, is anybody else gonna make some of these postcards? I might if I make enough of them. I'll send them. I'll send out some happy mail in, in our in our group in our Facebook group. But I have okay. I'm giving up. I'm just gonna make this blanket statement. I am not making a postcard for our, <laughs> a tag for everybody that's joined. That was my idea when we had 40 members. Now we have over 300, and um, <laughs> I cannot possibly make. I would make myself crazy. Have you guys seen how many people have joined our group? Oh, Lynn's saying they want space for the barcoding on the bottom. On the front, you mean on the back? Where the, yes. Well, I haven't put anything on the back yet. I'm going to. I was going to, I was going to cover it, I think, with a brown paper bag. I don't know. If I'm going to do it, I'm going to cover it with a solid color paper and then write her and write a real, like, write a real note. Nancy's 29 and holding. That's awesome. I know, Fiona Jane. Fiona Jane, it's ridiculous. I could make an envelope out of vellum. It's crazy how many people have joined our group. I don't even know where they came from. I mean, I haven't advertised anywhere. 
Pamela is saying she has a good friend and they met when you were six or seven and you've kept in touch ever since. Oh, oh Pamela, that's awesome. I have, I have a few friends like that. We have 357 members now. Okay, see, you guys, you guys are laughing, right? I made like about the tags. See, it's that Raffia Angel thing, right? <laughs> you made 20 tags, didn't you know that's a rock? You're a rock star. Well, thanks, Mary Kay. You guys, I'm telling you, this is not rocket science. It's ridiculousness. It's just, it's just making it out of your scraps. So anybody that says that they don't have supplies, I cannot believe it because this was made out of book pages and this was made out of book pages and um, magazine pages. You know, book pages, magazine pages. Oh, I know why it's so sticky. Okay, I'm going to give you my full month. These glue sticks are great if you keep the lid on it, but you have to keep the lid on it all the time. And I'm used to like crafting and leaving the lid off. And in the few minutes that I was sitting here leaving the lid off the glue, the glue, it won't spread. So then you have to like mess with it. So yes, they are worth buying 36 for $6 because permanent glue stick here is ridiculously expensive. But if you can get the, I like the, the one that's something extreme. Do you know what I'm talking about? I like that one. What is it called? Elmer's extreme. I like that one better. But I'm gonna, I have all these, so I have to use them all up. Okay, Tina's saying she found a pretty, I missed it. It goes, something with a dot pattern and lace. I missed it. Sometimes the chat goes faster than I can read it. Okay, so this is the beginning of that postcard. I have a few more. I'm not gonna work on those right now. Maybe I will after I glue some hot glue. I, I do some shabby chic gluing okay so I started to make somewhere on this messy desk is a pocket and I'll show it to you I'm gonna move these flowers I'm gonna move my postcard and my flowers I'm gonna put them over here so I don't lose them because because my desk is so bad right now the table's so small this is like a card table you guys it's like tiny card table and Anyway, I'm going to turn my paper over. I have my glue gun here, and I have... I still have not sewn in my pages, and the reason why is because I'm going to start gluing some... I'm going to start gluing some lace on some of the pages. And I'm going to make some other pockets. So... If I start gluing the lace on the pages and I want to move them around, if they're already sewn in, I can't do it. So that is what I'm going to do. What are you guys saying? Trish is in Beaverton. I don't even, where is Beaverton, you guys? Is that Oregon or is it, I don't know. You guys, I, I don't know all these towns. So, I am going to get out my lace. Now, I was so lucky. One of you girls sent me a bunch of stuff, and I'm so grateful. Sent me a bunch of lace, and I did tea dye some. I did coffee dye some stuff, and the coffee dye definitely looks better. I didn't coffee dye any lace, but I coffee dyed some other stuff. Some. So this is how I do it, and I may be doing it wrong, so you guys can pipe in, tell me. So my thought was I'm just going to randomly cut and glue some lace on pages. And mine is going to stick out some. And then I am going to... I have... I don't know if I'm going to hot glue it or if I'm going to wet glue it. How do you guys suggest? I've only ever wet glued. I'm not a big hot glue girl. Although I do have a hot glue gun. <laughs> do you guys hot glue or do you wet glue? Well, I don't know. I'm going to cut up some of it. I love the lace that you sent me. I got a bag of a bag of like bits from Phaedra. 
And if you guys haven't checked out her YouTube channel, go and check her out. Her name is Phaedra Jones on YouTube. She is a really amazing, she's a doll. She makes dolls, you guys. She makes beautiful dolls. She also is a really amazing painter. And she was, she's part of our group, and I love her, and I appreciate it. I didn't even know she was sending me anything. And I was so surprised. So I'm just going to start gluing page things down. Are you guys saying tacky glue? That's what I use. I ha haven't really used, I was going to use, yeah. Yeah, I did add some water to my tacky glue because my tacky glue was so thick. Do you guys ever, do you guys ever have your tacky glue where it's like so thick you can't even get it out of the bottle? Yes, that was mine. That was my tacky glue. I have only ever used tacky glue, but one of my friends, I was telling her, she asked me what I was doing today. I said, well, I'm cutting up some lace to glue on some paper. And she's like, why would you do that? Obviously, she's not a, she's not a crafting person. And then she was just telling me about how she made the most amazing thing with a glue gun. And I said, I have a glue gun, but I don't really use it that often. Although there's a really cool textile artist, and I'll link her, and I can't think of her name off the top of my head, but I'll link her stuff in my description, and she makes everything with hot glue, and she does, and it comes out amazing. So I'm finger glue, I'm painting it with finger, I'm like finger painting with Aliens Tacky Glue, because this piece of lace is kind of big. I, you know what, I used to like Fabri-Tac. I, I don't have any here. And you guys, it's not easy to get here. That was my go-to glue a million years ago. I used to use it for everything. Any of you, were you, any of you guys like that? So this is what I do. I don't know if, if you guys do the same thing. So after I glue my pieces down, I paper clip it. Does anybody else do that so that it stays in place? But this one's pretty good, so I don't really need to. But if, if I had already sewn it into the, if I had already sewn it into the book, I would have, um, I would have clipped it, used these to clip it in with. Do you guys ever do that? Tacky glue is kind of my go-to glue. Although I have Yes Paste, I haven't ever tried to use this, put this down with Yes Paste. I have, um, I don't know, I have some other glues too. I have a friend who, her glue is Tombow glue. She uses every form of Tombow glue out there. Do any of you guys like Tombow glue? All right, so this is why I don't glue my pages in, but you guys, I mean, I haven't sewn my pages in, but you guys can do it any way you want. I don't sew them in because I may, um, I may want to move them around. Yes, I, I like quick dry tacky. I have that too, but for today I'm going to use this tacky glue. And I like that Scotch's quick dry. Have you guys ever used that? I'm going to unplug this glue gun. So I was going to, the whole reason I even got the glue gun out was I was going to put these ruffles, I was going to make ruffles from my pattern paper. Have you guys done that too? Where you make ruffles from your pattern paper? So I'm just going to, I don't think I'm going to put it on a matte page, but I'm just going to glue a bunch of I am just going to glue a bunch of lace down. I'm going to glue a bunch of lace down on my pages. And I also have paper lace too from Doy Lace. Do you guys ever use that? I'm missing what you guys are saying. Yes, I love Tombow glue. Do you use Tombow glue and binder clips? Okay, good. Then I'm not the only one. So I was like, <laughs> I entered a swap a million years ago in a group, and you had to make a, like a shabby chic or a vintage style journal. Okay? And so I was like, okay. So I didn't have anything, so I bought like a cheap, 
lace curtain at a garage sale and I and I dyed it and then I used that one lace curtain and I dyed it a couple of different shades of pink it was like and then I had to paint it part of it because it you know it was a synthetic lace and anyway I think it came out good in the end but I had binder clips on it forever Mr. Wonderful was like, what are you, what are those binder clips? He was like, he thought I was mailing the journal with the binder clips, you guys. So I was like, oh my God. I was like, no, I'm not mailing the journal with the binder clips. He was like, he said, well, I wasn't going to say anything, but he goes, oh, it was kind of bulky with those big old binder clips on it. Let's see if I can find a paintbrush. Anyway. Oh, I was going to show, I'll show you guys before I end, if you guys remember, remind me, I cut some really cool, um, I'm making some journals, some flower style journals, and you guys know how much I love those, and I'm making some flower style journals, and I'm cutting up some you know, cutting the guts out of a book, books for them, and the gut, the books, I'll show you, I'm like in love with these, they're not my normal, it's not what I normally find, but I really love the ones that I found, and I'll show them to you guys, okay, you guys know mine's not going to be perfect, you know, I can't do anything like neat and orderly and perfect, mine's going to be like, mine might be more trashy than most people's shabby chic journal. I need my, definitely need my binder clips for this. What are you guys saying I'm missing? You like doilies and lace? I like doilies and lace. But you guys, when you, trust me, you can't find anything like that here. It's almost, it's almost like, um, it's almost like, Nothing like that ever makes its way here. I think when people move here, I mean, the only way you would get it, I guess you can order it and get it, but the only way that you would get, like, real antique lace is if somebody brought it with them. You know? It's not something you can't, there's no antique stores here. Not on my island. There might be antique stores on, on other islands, but there's not any on this one. All right. Two down. I'm gonna do the other two sides too. Maybe I'll just have to decide. Maybe if I'm gonna do the same lace or different lace. What are you guys saying? You got your CD swap, Jennifer? Oh my God, that's awesome! Do you, will you put? Can you post a picture of it in our group? It finally came. Oh, Jennifer, I'm so happy for you. I know you were like really sort of not happy with how things were turning out, but I'm so happy for you. That's so awesome. So it renewed your faith in in your swapping. So tell me what else you guys are working on while I'm sitting here gluing. Is gluing the most boring thing to watch somebody do? So I am... And mine are going to stick out. I'm not making them perfect, you guys. Mine are going to be ratty and sticking out. What are you ready? Okay, she says... Mine are not perfect ever. Um, Danina says, yes, Maui is beautiful. It is beautiful. And the water is beautiful and the fish are beautiful. You live in the desert, but you've been to Maui. I love the desert too. I lived in the desert for a little bit. My children didn't like it, so we didn't stay. But so I'm going to like that page. I'm going to leave that one here. Let me see if I can... 
I liked, I know this wasn't supposed to be on it. This was just like the top part of the, the curtains, but I liked it. The, um, you know, this weird, like, can you guys see it? I know that was like the salvage edge, but I liked it. What are you guys writing? I can't see it. Let's see. Well, you girls, I can't wait to see what you guys make. I, I would love to see your your lace and bits and all that. It, I would love it. It would make me thrilled. It would make, first of all, it made me thrilled that I get to see your work. But I, I would love to see what you do. I would love it. Oh my gosh. Did we lose you, Susan and Bet? Did I lose you girls? Are you are you tired? Are you sleeping? Did I lose you? Good night. Who's leaving? Ada? Good night, Ada. Join our Facebook group, Ada, if you haven't already. I'm going to do some uh, giveaways soon over there in our Facebook group. So those of you that are active, you know, make sure you comment on the posts and stuff. And uh, so that you don't get left out of the, of the giveaway. We have so many people that I, that I don't know and have never seen, which I'm not opposed to it. I don't quite know how they made their way to us. I would have assumed they would have had to have been on a live stream, but it's like a lot of people. Lynn, you know what? We do have, we okay, we had an amazing thrift store and it just closed. And I think it's because they must have raised their rent. Um, we had a Savers. Do you guys have that on the mainland? I think they're like a corporation savers um and we did have that but it i think the rents are so high here i think that they either raise the rent to be something so outlandish because like a thrift store you would think you know so we don't have them anymore um we have a goodwill and, and we have a salvation army the Salvation Army is really super tiny, and it's on the really old one of the really old sides of the island. I used to volunteer there all the time, and occasionally you can find some lace stuff, you know, like clothing that you could take apart. Definitely. Um, the Goodwill is relatively new, and they don't. Ha I haven't been in a while. But it's not cheap like you guys think a thrift store should be cheap. For whatever reason, they've decided that the thrift stores here should be pricey. And they are. Which I find ridiculous. But that's just how it goes, you know? So I haven't... I don't have... Uh, um, I don't have... A lot of stuff. But it doesn't mean that I can't, you know... If I find an old tablecloth, are you kidding? I'm right there to cut it up. Or at any, it doesn't even have to be old. Or, yeah. I was in the textile group for a while, and I would have to, I, basically, unless you wanted some Hawaiian fabric, you were only going to, because that's really all you can, not all you can buy here, but a lot of it is. So, I was having to take clothes apart just to participate in the projects they were making, because... You know, not everybody wants a, you know, like if you're making a swap, not everybody wants a swap with, uh, not everybody wants a swap with, uh, Hawaiian fabric. I mean, maybe some people do, but you know what I mean. It's like you can't, like, can you imagine? I could make one of these journals and make it in with Hawaiian fabric. I could totally do that, but, you know? What kind of, where are your favorite places to get the stuff that you guys use? I want to hear. Can you guys tell me? Where's your favorite, where's your favorite places to get your, I'm missing what you guys are saying because I'm, I'm trying to glue on it. Nothing is cheap here, you guys. It isn't. I'm not complaining. It just isn't. I mean, it's not a, it's not a criticism or a complaint. It's just what it is. It's not cheap. But that's okay. You know, they're, it's okay. You know, that's, I think truly... 
if I hadn't, if it wasn't, things weren't, and not only is it not cheap here, you just can't find it. Like, if you wanted to go and find it, it wouldn't, you may not, you may not be able to find it here. That's all. I mean, some things you can. If you wanted a Hawaiian shirt, I could find you that any day of the week. <laughs> If you want something made with Hawaiian fabric, I can find you that any day of the week. But if you want if you want something in lace, not so easy. But that's okay. I got a, a cool little stash going on here and as this journal progresses, I'm sure more is uh, will show up and I'm making a much bigger one. I think I'm gonna do it with coffee dyed papers. I'll show you my coffee dyed papers in just a minute. I coffee dyed a ton of papers and they were, it was awesome and thrift stores you know what somebody was posting because we have these forums here you know like Maui forums on Facebook um, and somebody was posting on there today she was like has everything raised its prices like has Goodwill raised its prices and it was, I don't even know what she was looking for to buy, but I just thought it was sort of a funny, sort of a funny thing to be discussing. Has the thrift store raised its prices? I mean, with everything optimally ending up, ending up in a landfill, it would be great if, uh, if people lowered the prices so other people would, you know, take it and use it. So... But I have, saying that, I've made paper lace before, you guys. Have you ever, did any of you guys, when you were growing up, make those snowflakes? Did you ever cut snowflakes when you were a kid? You know what I mean? Snowflakes? So, if you've cut snowflakes when you were a kid, you can do the same sort of thing with uh, making paper lace. You, know, you just gotta practice until you come up with a, a motif that you like. So, Susan, are you and Bet still here? Diana, did we lose you? So I'm gonna glue. A bunch of lace to a bunch of papers and then I'm gonna let them dry and then I'm gonna decide okay I'm sorry I'm missing what you guys are saying yeah estate sales are not what you think here we don't have that but yeah state state sales are awesome you've never seen savers well it was like a it was like a chain of I don't know where they are but anyway it was a chain of thrift stores maybe I don't even need to I don't, maybe I don't need to tack this one down From the end. Sorry, you guys get me full fledged talking to myself today. Let me see. What's up, dollar bag? A dollar bag is awesome. Dollar a bag is awesome. So I did find this beautiful lace dress at a, at a resale shop here and I was I had it because I was gonna cut it up for this shabby chic journal right and my daughter came my one of my kids came home one day and she's like oh I love this dress and I said yeah she went and tried it on <laughs> she goes can I have it <laughs> I said yeah you can have it I said it looks great on you she was like thanks it was so funny though it was like I was excited I was like oh boy this is so awesome. I'm going to cut this up. See, that's how I roll, you guys. You'd do the same thing, though. You would totally, like, tell your kid, that, of course you can try it. Of course you can have it. You would totally do the same thing. So I'm gonna, I think I'm going to make some lace tabs while I'm doing this, too. Well, i got my gluing going on. I think I'm going to glue some lace tabs. What are you guys saying? I'm missing it. Okay, let's see. You want to go to the thrift store in Portland, outside of Portland? Are they really excellent, the thrift stores outside of Portland? 
Austin must have amazing. Hello, Michelle. I can just hear your voice. Hello, ladies. Did I do a good Michelle impersonation? Michelle, I loved how you painted your desk. It came out awesome. It's looking great. Michelle is getting, if you want to see the Queen of Shabby Sheet, go over to her channel. Michelle Scott is her name. Go over and check her out. She's our sister crafter. The mother of shabby chic. The inspiration for this junk journal. Mildred, are you still here? What have you done on yours? No, normally I would sew this, but I didn't. You guys are laughing at me. I would love to go to the thrift store in, um, in Austin. I think that would be awesome. Are they really fabulous thrift stores? Are you like really, are they like, are you just like all over it? Are they amazing? Thrift stores here are not, you guys. I can't even tell you. It's just, they're just not. They are if you want bikinis and board shorts. You guys, if you want, if you want some bikinis and board shorts, then they're, then they're, it's a thrift store for you. If you want, if you want something else, then if you're looking for something different than bikinis and board shorts, then it's not for you. <laughs> oh Lord. Bikinis and board shorts. Or Hawaiian shirts, you can buy that. You can totally get that here. You can totally get that here. My hands are so gluey, the more I pick them up, the more the more the stuff comes up. They be gluey. They be fiddly gluey. Okay, so I have four pa three pages and a tab so far drying here. Three pages and a tab. And gluey fingers. What are you guys writing? Yeah, the rents are ridiculous, Lynn. You know, it's like, I don't know what's wrong with people. Like, you'd think that some landlord wouldn't be greedy and they would want to keep it, they would want to keep it open, right? But they just don't. I don't know why. I really don't know why. Oh, Ash says she finally cut out a bird that looks like a bird. <laughs> I promise I, I will do the, I, I didn't, I couldn't get him to fix, I couldn't get Mr. Wonderful to fix the scanner I, I he's been working so much he got home so late last night i asked him the day before too but he hasn't done it so he's been working really late you guys have to understand it sort of ebbs and flows here if it's like this is like beginning to be busy season you have to work when it's busy because come like september it'll be dead for like a month maybe two months and then so you have to really work when it's busy so phaedra's saying some thrift stores here really good but it's more expensive than in the smaller towns around here that said I just always am on the hunt and love estate sales Pedro what you sent me was so rocking that's what I'm using I have a whole bag right here next to me and I'm like going through it and if you see like I'm cutting up bits I did cut up a bunch earlier um, little pieces off of it and that sort of thing and I'm cutting up some stuff to go in this journal and I that's the ledger paper that you sent me, and I coffee dyed it. I coffee dyed the leather ledger paper. So it's cool, and I'm happy with it. I love it. I'm so appreciative. See, so see, you guys come to Maui and you can buy a bikini. Michelle says she's playing with beeswax. You guys are so funny. What are you making with beeswax, Michelle? Let's 
What are you making with beeswax, Michelle, Michelle, Michelle? Michelle, my belle. Now you got me singing that song. That's, you know whose fault that is? That's Miss Susan's fault. Or is it you, Bet? Or is it you, Miss Bet, Bet, Bet? I'm digging in my bag of lace, ladies. I'm coming back. I'm just digging in my bag of lace for Miss Phaedra. Miss Phaedra's bag of lace. Is Beth that sings Michelle my bell? Estate sales are dangerous. They man, I've bought so many things I didn't need from an estate sale. Now granted, here estate sales are not the same, so I can't tell you, but you know, they are dangerous. Thrift Town left. I where is Thrift to? I, you know what? Twenty six thousand dollars a month for rent for Thrift Town. See, I think that's what happened here. I think that the thrift stores went they just went oh crazy, you know? You know, back when I was in college, you guys, we used to do crazy and caustic stuff with beeswax where you'd melt it and paint it over your paintings, and it was, I was sort of obsessed with it. And then when I was older, and you guys know I'm not that much older, haha, <laughs> when I was older, um, I um, really got into making some encaustic work. But more like collage work, you know, encaustic collage work. It was, and just loved it. I love the smell of beeswax. Don't you guys like the smell of it? I love the smell of it melted. It smells so nice. And you can get some really cool pigments to go in it. Um, a lot like that, um, I bet you you could use those magicals in it, because those are just pure pigment, pure acrylic pigment. I bet you could get that. I bet you could get some magicals and put in it. Or, you know, something like magicals. Hi, Misty! I love the smell of beeswax. It smells amazing. Alright, I'm going to glue a few more pages. Who else is glue? Who else is gluing on their lace? This lace is a little tedious to glue on for me because I'm not I didn't have myself sit up. I should have just sewn it on, but I didn't. I could have sewn it on with my sewing machine. <coughs> You're not feeling well? Oh no, Missy. You better, I hope you feel better. are going to do Christmas in July with me on Friday. We're going to continue. I've made a couple of, and I'll, you know what, I'll try to get the template scanned and download it into the Facebook group and then you guys can print them out if you want to print them. I'll do a bird, tree, star, and I did angel wings. So I was thinking we could work on that and hearts. And then I'll also show you how to use the same technique and make a piece of jewelry. If you're into it, I mean, you don't have to. You can make a piece of jewelry or you could use it as a journaling charm for those for those fast and furious journalers. And you can make it any style. You can make it funky eclectic. You could make it, um, you can make it funky eclectic or you could make it shabby chic or you could make it boho. You could do it any, any style. Any, any, any style. Is Luana here yet? Is Miss Luana? She may be working today. Okay, Danina says tags. Awesome. No, if you, we can make tags on Friday too. Um, we're just going to make some more of those paper. I'm going to, I made some angel wings and I thought that you guys might like that because you don't even, you can send them to any time. Friday is the same time, Nancy. We do it the same time every time. Unless it's a Sunday and I wasn't planning on it, then it could be any time on a Sunday. But 
On Tuesdays and Fridays we do it at 9 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. I like funky too, Misty. I'm not a... I, I try to conform sometimes, but it just doesn't work out for me. The conforming and me are not friends. I don't know why, but we aren't. Conforming and I don't work together very well. What are you guys talking about? Ugh. Yes, RSVP for Friday. You guys are so funny. Well, I made some angel wings. I, I haven't, I have the template for the trees. I made the same thing that we're making, like the birds, trees. I made them with kids. And I think I can, if I can get Mr. Wonderful to climb up in our crawl space with all the spiders, I will, um, they call it an attic. Trust me, it's a crawl space. You can't even stand up in it. I will show you what I made because I know I kept a couple of them. I didn't keep a lot, but I know I kept a few. Kids make the most amazing things. Can I tell you, they have no inhibitions and they're not judging themselves. They don't, their inner critic is not even on. So they made really cool ones. I got a note from one of the ladies, one of the kids' moms, who said that she made, she went home and she made like, she said, do you know what we did over the holidays? I said, no, what? She said, she had all of us making those trees. So can you imagine, just like the birds that you and I made, I made trees, Christmas trees with them. And she said they, she had the whole family doing it. <laughs> it's awesome. She said they had so much fun. So that was super fun. So we can do, we're going to do some angel wings and then I'll show you how to make them into a pendant. And then maybe the following week we can do jewelry. We still, if everybody has, I think toward, if you can give me like two more weeks, toward the end of July we'll do, and maybe we'll carry it over into August, I don't know, but you need a hard back spine with the pages taken out, a gutted book. It has to be at least two inches. If and uh, you need a half of a yard of fabric, any kind of fabric. It can be scraps or pieces, or it can be, but it needs to be. Um, I'll tell you the dimensions. I'll send you the pattern. We're going to make something look really cool with that. Kids, I wish I could show you. So I made a quilt with some kids. So I was, when I lived in New York City, my kids used to go to a little tiny private school. It was really tiny, but it was really sweet. And um, and they, it was an amazing school. Anyway, I made quilts with the kids. I made a quilt with the kids. We were making portraits. We did self-portraits. So what I did was I bought like plain cheap muslin and I washed it first. And then I had the kids draw themselves with a pencil on there, a graphite pencil. And then I traced whatever they drew. And so some of their drawings were like crazy and out there. I traced as closely as I could to exactly and I didn't fix it so if it was out there and weird I didn't do anything except traced it with a permanent uh, fabric marker and then we went back and we painted it with uh, acrylic paint with fabric medium in it and they it came out so good it was so beautiful and we were gonna give it to their teacher and then it was they were like four four and five they had like this class of kids they had like they went to like pre-k kindergarten so they were in pre-k there were four and five you guys the artwork that they made was so stunning that the teacher went to some sort of conference and she took it with her like I guess they had to talk about like impacts of art or I don't know so she took it with her and I guess she entered it into a a contest and it won and I think it won because it was so out there it was like if I find, if I can find a picture of it I'll maybe I can find her and she'll send me a picture of it but the point is is that kid the kids had no inhibitions so their portraits were brilliant so brilliant 
their portraits and, and their viewpoints. So, like, they drew pictures. Like, one kid drew a picture of himself with his dog. And the dog, the nose of the dog was so big because, you know, when he was little, that's like, the dog was a big dog. The dog was taller than he was. That, that was his viewpoint. His vantage point was the, the nose of the dog. Danina, we're so happy it's your birthday. We're happy it's your birthday, and we're happy you're going to have... Did you put anything on your crafty wish list for the crafty fairy to send you for your birthday? Did you put anything? Do you have anything specific on your crafty wish list? Next time I'm going to sew all this on. But I couldn't have sewn it because I, I, couldn't, I couldn't have sewn it with you guys because my sewing machine... I don't have my camera up high enough to to sew, put my sewing machine underneath it. But the next time I'm going to sew it, I would have already been done if I was sewing it. Phaedra, you would have loved that. I wish I, if I can find a picture of it, I'll, I, you know what, because I've, my computer died. You guys, back up your computer. So I had all of my photographs. Does this happen to anybody else besides me? I had all my photographs on my computer. And I had backed it up somewhat, but not totally, and then my computer completely died, like it burned up or whatever, so I don't have a lot of pictures of it, but if I can find one, I'll, I'll, I'll post it. It's your birthday too, Joyce? Happy birthday, Joyce! Happy birthday! Who else had a birthday recently? Who else had a birthday recently? Yeah, the last pictures and videos, kind of, it's, it's sort of heartbreaking, right? It's like, you don't really care about much else, but the pictures and the videos, you kind of care about that, right? You kind of care about that. Lost pictures and videos can be a pain in the butt. It's like, you're like sad, it makes you like sad, you know? You're like, wait, what happened to that? Okay. Laurel, did you ever start your journal? When is your vacation? When are you leaving for vacation? Wasn't it you that said last week that you wanted to make yourself a journal before you went away? Or is it, am I remembering it from another time? You guys, all the weeks run together here, so you told me like a month ago and I'm telling you now I'm sorry you said somebody said they were gonna make themselves a okay Danina says um, yes she got the metallic inks oh good and the tone and the temple stamp my from your kids or you got it for yourself and then you said your kids asked you what you wanted and you told them white wax and spray ons on sale the 24 pack that I talked about. Yeah, the, the glitter mist. I know, the glimmer mist. Yeah, that's a great deal. It's a great deal. I, I don't know how, you know, sometimes those, those sites, they have such amazing deals. You're just like, seriously, how do they afford it? Okay, what are you writing? I'm missing it. Okay, so. Happy birthday, Joyce. Mary Kay saying she got a perfect one. She got it at a thrift store at a craft retreat and went last weekend. And the book is is already coming off the binding. What? And the pages have religious pictures on it. So cool. I can't wait to see it. Um. Your granddaughter's birthday is today, Tina. Well, happy birthday. Four is such a precious age. That's like the best age for little girls. I don't know about boys because I only had girls, so... For girls, four is a precious age. I do know boys are precious at that age. They're a little rambunctious. I had one of my daughter's friends kept try to catch our house on fire when he was four. <laughs> uh, Fiona Jane said she lost all her photos of her kid of her kids growing up. Oh, uh, when your last laptop crashed. Uh I know it's it's a bummer, right? Thanks for being here, Brenda. I'm glad you're liking it. <laughs> Are you crafting along with us? Next time, you know, Brenda, every time I stream, bring a project. Doesn't even matter what it is. Bring it. You can ask about it, talk about it. Somebody in this, somebody in this 
collection of very experienced ladies, as Michelle says. Ladies! Hello, ladies! I love her voice. Um, somebody here will be able to give you a tip or help you in any way. There's always somebody that is like super uber experienced in that. Me, on the other hand, I don't know. I don't really know anything, but I have a good time crafting with you guys. Tina, tell her we say happy birthday. Yeah, car drives when they crash. It is a bummer. Work on your backgrounds. That's awesome. As long as you craft along. I think, you know, like, I love to craft along. I love Carla, the lady caged fish. She does a live stream on Tuesdays, like I said, at 2 o'clock Eastern Time. Um, I don't always catch her live, but when I, I try to, but sometimes my life gets away from me, so I can't. Um, but I love crafting along with her. I love to craft along with Dee Dee Willingham. She's awesome. She does some really cool painting stuff, if you guys aren't familiar with her. Her channel, she also does live streams, like, I don't know, a bunch of them. Three or four during the week. And I like those. Well, I got some pages going on here. I got a glue mask, that's for sure. Um, I'm going to turn my paper over. So I got that set all gluey. Um, who else do we like to craft? Michelle, you can always craft along with Michelle Scott. She does some live stuff. And she's fun. She'd be fun. She's a fun girl. Hello, ladies. I love her voice. Okay. Maybe I'll just do some tabs, some lace tabs. Anyway, so she's fun to craft along with. There's a lot of fun people to craft along with. I mean, now that YouTube has a live thing, I think it's better. What do you guys think? Don't you agree? Don't you think it's better? It's more fun to craft along with people? Like, you could just, instead of just being by yourself crafting in your own space, which is fine, too. I mean, it's fun, too, to craft in your space. I think it's fun to craft along with other people. That's my personal opinion. Um, your granddaughter seven, Joyce, and she'll turn eight in February. Oh. When are you leaving, Laurel? And what kind of journal are you making for yourself? I'm not a grandma yet. My kids my kids told me, I, I told you guys the story already. They told me I had my own grandchild because I have a 10-year-old. They were like, Mom, you had your own grandchild. So that being said, I've had my own grandchild. And, <laughs> oh, Lord. I like the streams, too, because I'm crafting by myself anyway. Um... It does take a little bit of practice to learn how to talk to people and craft at the same time. Which I, I miss comments all the time because I'm busy looking at my glue. But I enjoy, I enjoy hanging out with you guys. I really do. Brenda, you didn't know people did this until now? Well, it's kind of a... Live streams aren't a new thing. I mean, they've been around for a while, but the technology's gotten easier for people to access it. And then, you know, we're all getting a little bit more brave, you know, to share our art with each other. Where does your grandson live, Mildred? Where does your grandson live? I look forward to the day I'm a grandmother. You know, if they ha if they have kids, you know, I, I don't. I try not to say too much to my kids. Does anybody else have this experience with your kids that the more you say to them, the less like <laughs> mine are mine get kind of like if you say, "Oh, I'm looking forward to you having kids," they're like, "I'm never having kids." 
Does, do any, does anybody else's kids? Yes, Mildred, you need one gutted book with a two, at least a two inch spine and a half, in a, a half a yard of fabric. You may need a few other things. I'm gonna make the project, I made this project a million years ago. I don't wanna tell you guys what it is until I, I made one at least 10 years ago, <laughs> okay? And I gave it to a friend and I actually, for whatever reason, it seems like I'm making contact with people that I haven't seen in a long time. So I was talking to her, she lives in East Hampton, New York, and I was talking to her the other day and she was reminding me that I had made this for her, which I had completely forgotten about and because she was telling me that she uses it all the time and she was telling me that she uses it all the time so I I thought maybe I would make one with you guys so you need a you need all you need to make it is a you need glue a book with a two inch spine, or at least an inch and a half spine. Two inches is better if you can find one. Um, it doesn't matter what the cover's like, because you can cover the cover, or we can paint on the cover. And we need a half a yard of fabric, and we need some, it's probably some either masking tape or duct tape, because we want to reinforce the spine on the inside, or some thin cardboard. I don't know, I'll tell you. I'm gonna. I'll try to make one this week, and then I'll put it out for you. But if you if you go book shopping, see if you can find a book with a two-inch spine. Okay, I'm gonna put this signature together really quick and see if I like it and see what else it needs. I'm sure it needs a lot of stuff, but my lace is not dry. Maybe it's dry enough. Anyway, I think that you guys are gonna dig it. And if we make them now and you really like making them, we can make them again together and then you could make them on your own together. I mean, you know what I mean? You can make them on your own. So, I may have to trim that lace. That lace is wild. Anyway, let me see. What are you guys writing? No, I'm not lacing every page, Mildred. I've laced like, there's probably 20 pages in this. I'll, I'll count the pages. Now, but the reason I don't glue them all together, Mildred, is if I don't like them, I'm not going to... I mean, the reason I haven't sewn them all together um, is if I don't like it, then I can move them, move the pages around. No, I think in each signature there's only going to be like four pages laced, and then I've put some... I made some lace tabs. Okay, does that make sense? I've made some lace tabs. and I may And I may move the pages around so that... It, they look different or whatever I don't know yet I know some people like sew all their stuff together but can I tell you I've had to unsew my pages so many times because after I put it together I'm like oh I don't like that I want it different I want you know and I've already sewn them together so I'd rather just work out the kinks of how I'd like it to look and then sew them together that that's just me but you can do it anyway that works for you okay hang on I got this page too all right, and this signature there is, let me count how many pages there are. I've got glue all over me. Okay, there's one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I was gonna do like 10 pages per signature, but this one has 13 pages. I may change some up and put them in the other one. You know, put them in the other signature. And out of the 13 pages, I did one, two, 13 pages folded in half. One, three, four. I, fa I did out of the 13 pages folded in half, I did five with lace. Okay, what am I missing? You're making a traveler. Lorel says she's making a traveler's notebook or whatever you call it. And. So, are you making it so that you can make yourself a vacation journal? Is that the idea? Okay, what's scary? I missed the scary. You want to make what one of these books as a wedding gift? Oh, you're liking it, Michelle? 
Well, then that's a compliment coming from you because you're the queen of shabby chic. I'm not the queen of any of it. I'm just doing it. I'm just doing it. So this one has, so that one's going to, that's one signature, right? But do you see that's why I said don't put too many signatures in it? Because look how big it is already. And I may, I may have to, may have to just fold the envelope in this way and cover and figure a different closure because it's going to be fat with lace. So this is it so far, and I'm going to have more pages to go. That's this, and then I have this signature, right? So if I do the same with this signature, how many pages are in? So that one has 13 in it. I may have to take some pages out. I don't know, you know, so. This one has 14 pages. So 13 pages and 14 pages. So if I did, you like it? Oh, thanks, Ash. I'm probably not doing the best job because I don't, but I'm trying. So the, if I put, if I do the same amount of pages in the second signature, which was only six pages, if I only do, if I only lace six pages on both sides of the page that I laced, then, so the, the journal itself has 26 pages not uh, unfolded, right? 26 pages unfolded, so it ends up having that double. So what is that? 52 pages for the journal? 52 pages? So the journal has 52 pages. The journal has 52 pages total. And out of the 52 pages, um, Out of the 52 pages, so far there's only 13, you know, six, six regular pages, six unfolded pages, or, or 12 folded pages that have lace on them. Okay, I'm missing what you guys are saying. Thanks, Tina. I hope you guys are making it too. And I hope the reason, you know, so the reason we do it together is so you can see that it's cool and you can make mistakes and there's nothing perfect and you don't have to be perfect. Okay? Because I think so many times, at least when I was first making junk journals, can you guys, any of you pipe in and tell me if you felt this way? When you first were making junk journals, and if you went online and you saw other people's junk journals, you were kind of like, what is that? And then you were like looking at it and you said, oh my God, I could never do that. Or you were looking at it and you were like, there, uh, mine is never going to come out like that. Or how do you even begin? Am I the only person that had that experience? So that's why I'm even doing it this with you guys. Oh, I'm doing it for myself, too, but I'm just saying, so you can see, like, there's no, and you can start at any time. And you know what? No matter how many junk journals you've made, every time you make one, doesn't it feel like it's the first time or a new experience? It does for me. Like, I'll start making a journal, and then I'll be like, oh, how did I do this last time? Or, or what did I do that worked? Or that didn't work? Or whatever. He goes writing. Good night, Alta. Thanks, Phaedra. Thank you, Phaedra. You're the one who sent me all this lace. This, this is lace. This is lace. Uh, compliments of Phaedra. That's why I'm able to to work on my journal <laughs> because Phaedra sent me some lace. So I think she was like. I think you guys were all cringing at the thought of me using my my torn up sheets, right? She made me some cool flowers, too. I'll show them to you when I get ready to do the embellishing of the flower part. I'll show them to you. I have all kinds of pages in here. I'm only going to do one side of that side because the other side's folded up. So, you guys, there's no wrong... Well, I'm glad you feel welcome. You know what? 
That's the whole point. I'm not the only person that feels like everybody else's journal looks better than theirs. I know, right? Sometimes I was like, oh my God. And then, have you guys ever seen them where they're like so amazing and then you're just like, I don't think I would ever write in it. Did anybody else have that feeling too? Where you go, I would never write in that journal. If that was my journal, I would never write in it. It is too beautiful. Does anybody else have that feeling? Oh, Alta, I'm so happy. Alta, thank you for saying that. Alta says that she overthinks things so and putting things together. So doing this really is helping her to loosen up and let go. Alta, I appreciate you saying that, okay? I think we all overthink it and we all think, like, where do I begin? How do I do it? You know, I mean, I, I do it to myself. I so do it to myself. Mildred was so sweet to me today. We were on, we went to lick at Caged Fish together, or we met each other at Caged Fish. We didn't plan it, but we had a date at Caged Fish. And and she said, and they asked what you were doing, and I said, and uh, she asked me what we were doing. I said, we're going to do our shabby chic journal, and she's like, yay. And I said, yeah, I'm working on it right now. And, and Mildred writes in the comments, aren't you supposed to wait for the live stream to do that? I said, yeah, but I'm just cutting up lace bits. And she's like, oh, okay. <laughs> Mildred, I so appreciated it. I really appreciated it. I totally knew what you meant. You were like, wait a second here. We're going to struggle. We want to see it from the beginning. We want to see the whole thing. We want to see it before your makeup's on. Okay? <laughs> we want to see the whole plain Jane you and then make it beautiful. And I appreciate that. Hi, Anne. You are not late. You're never late. You are never late. So, I appreciated it, Mildred. I totally knew what you were saying, and I wasn't trying to cheat anyone out of watching the process, but I was just, Phaedra sent me some really cool laces, and she sent me some that were like in a tablecloth thing, so I cut some of those up. I think I'm going to, because I was originally thinking I was going to sew them on pockets, and then I didn't sew anything today. I was going to sew them, and I didn't sew anything today. My sewing... My sewing didn't happen. My sewing didn't happen. Okay, you guys wanna know why my sewing didn't happen? Are you ready for this? My box of bobbins and thread. I only have green thread on my sewing machine and a green bobbin. All of my cream colored and white colored thread is in the garage, buried in a box with boxes packs stacked miles high because of the, the work they're doing on our on this wall over here. Because I took everything out. So <laughs> So I couldn't, I was just like, seriously, only me. You know, this is so silly, but I can't even like, I couldn't even, I couldn't even, I couldn't even sew with any thread because it's all in a box that's like, it had like six feet high of stuff piled on it and stacks of it. And honestly, can I tell you, it was so hot. I was like, I'm not, I'm just not doing it. I will find my thread and sew it another time. Tina's saying, yes, starting. Good night, Jen. Sending you so much love. See you on Friday, maybe. Um, Tina's saying, yes, starting is always the hardest part for, for her and breaking the blank page. Oh, I totally get that. It always works out if you're willing to see it through the ugly stage. It's always it will always work out if you're willing to see it through the ugly stage. If you're really if you're willing to work through the ugly stage. You know why else I like a live stream? I mean, maybe I'm taking longer than I would if I was doing it by myself, but probably not cuz I like to think and look and move or whatever. But haven't you guys ever watched videos and they do them really fast and speed it up for them? And so then when you look at it and say the video is like 15 minutes, okay, or, or 10 minutes, right? And you're like, so then when you get 10 minutes into a project and yours doesn't look anywhere near it, you're just like, oh my gosh, well then I fail at that. Rather than doing something in real time, fussing with it in real time, then you realize, okay, there's a lot of work that goes into this process and you can work your way through right am i right or am i wrong i mean i think that for me that's what it is 
you know? Nathan. And then don't you like totally respect a journal like this? Like when you get one, when somebody gives you one, you're just like, oh my God, they put so much work into it. I totally love that. And I've got glue on my arms. You guys have glue on my elbow. Oh, the other day, I have to tell you guys, we'll have a good laugh. Well, maybe not. Maybe I'll just shake your head and go, that's just Shelly, how she rolls. So the other night, Huddy and I went out, he, he wanted to go, he had one evening off, okay? He had Sun. was it Sunday evening he had off? I don't remember. Maybe it was Monday evening. I don't remember. He had one evening off, and he had been working and doing all this stuff, and he had one evening off, so he, he comes home and he wants to go out for dinner. Now, can I tell you guys, there's some really fancy restaurants here. We don't go there. We go to the very local style restaurants, and... You know, so he wanted to go to this place that has that I had been telling him I went like a couple of weeks ago with a friend, a girlfriend of mine. She took me there, and they had this amazing fish, and we were just gonna have fish over salad, right? And I love that. The fish here is, I have to say, I, w I won't say too much about living here, but the fish is very good. The fish is amazing. So of course he like looks I, I go you because I haven't been there that often and it's not fancy it's not it's actually like in a it's actually like in like a food court but the fish is so good like a food court that you'd see in a mall but it's not in a mall you guys when you come you'll see if you come I'll tell you where to go it's like it's like a it is sort of like a strip mall but then they have somebody rented a whole store in a strip mall which is actually kind of a good idea they rented a whole store in a strip mall, and inside that store, they put, like, five little restaurants, like they would be, like, a food court, you know, or so, like, the center part is where everybody sits down to eat, you know, and you, it's like a self-service thing, kind of like a food court, but this is like a, a little, it's not in a, it's in a, in a store, like, I don't know. Anyway, rents are so high here, that's probably why they do it. So, of course, he, I don't, I don't know how late they're open, because things have weird hours here, you know, and he wasn't home. It wasn't that late, but it was like eight, seven thirty, eight o'clock. So he calls and, of course, or whatever. Look, and of course they closed like at six o'clock. So he was a little disappointed with that. So I had been crafting all day, making my. I don't know what I was making, but my face was painted. I guess. Anyway, that's the whole story. So we end up going someplace else. Okay, he ends up. One of his friends called or something, and they wanted to go, and we went to this place where it's like a dive bar, really, but they have really good Korean food, really good Korean food. If you like Korean food, oh my God, so good. They have other stuff too, but I like their spicy food. So we go, and we're meeting his friends, and I haven't seen them in a while, and we're meeting some of his friends because they have a pool table there, and he wants to play pool with them. So they're all excited. And we're gonna, they're going to play pool. You guys are now meeting like six or eight people. And finally one of the ladies goes. <laughs> we're sitting at this like table in like a dive bar. I'm ordering my spicy Korean soup, which I love, which is amazing, but it's so spicy. And this lady, the, one of the girlfriends of the, or wives of the guy, we said, and she looks over at me and she goes, so how have you been? I said, oh, I'm great. I'm great. And she's like how's your health? And I'm like, my health is just good. I'm like thinking, why is she asking me this? She all of a sudden, she goes, oh, really? She goes, hmm. And I'm like, why? She goes, because you guys, those Lindy spray inks, the purple ones, I had must have gotten it on me. And on the side of my neck, it was completely purple, like a big bruise. Like I, like, I don't know. It was like, <laughs> Lindy spray pigment stain, you know, it's like alcohol ink stain down the side of my neck. Oh my God, you guys. I was like, oh Lord. I, I was like, ah. anyway, and I said to him, why didn't you tell me? And he said, I didn't see it. He said, of course I would have told you. So you guys, she thought that I was, you know, that I was ill. Ugh. I'm repeating myself on your phone. Well, maybe you need to turn it off and turn it back on.
I know, Davina, right? But but the worst thing is I've been there for a long time. Night, Michelle. Let it. Did you know? When do we find out about Lacey? Make sure you tell us. We love you, Michelle. You guys, it was so ridiculous. And it was at toward the end of the night. I was like, oh my god. So I've been sitting there for I don't know how long, and they were probably all every time I got up to go to the bathroom, they thought that I was like. Oh my god, it was so funny, you guys. It was so funny. <laughs> Mary Kay, you're so funny. I'm going to tell you where to go. It's a dive, you guys. Uh, it's like a dive. It's like a total dive. I was sitting there the whole night. They probably thought, either I was like, I don't know. They... It, it was just ridiculous. But that's how I roll, you guys. You know me. That's how I roll. The ridiculous is how I roll. I roll with the ridiculous. Oh, my God. You guys, I can't even tell you. If you guys have ever, have any of you really used alcohol inks a lot? They stain. They stain a lot, okay? So, and you can't really get it off. So if you like are using alcohol inks and you want to go somewhere where it matters and they take sometimes they take days to come off your hands. You guys, I I did some alcohol inking. It hasn't a while back and I and I used some sort of I guess it was grains or something and I wasn't thinking about it. And you guys, it got underneath my fingernails and it <laughs> my fingernails looked green. I mean, you like my pages, Joyce? Well, thanks. Anyway, it was like, yes, that's how I roll. But those, the ink on my neck, though, I mean, it did look like I had, like, I don't know, you guys. Like, I had some, like, probably real illness or something with this big. But the worst part is, like, he, I said to him, you didn't even tell me. He's like, I did not see it. You know, he was like, I would, of course I would tell you. It's like, oh lord, that's just how it works for me, girls. My life is like that. I can't even tell you. It's so ridiculous. I tell you guys all the time. It's ridiculous, but that's how it works for me. It's like I can't. It can't be like anything but that. I. You know what? I can't even make this up, Ash. It's like, I told you guys, I'm Lucy. I'm Lucy. I'm like, hello, Lucy. Hello, you know, Ricky Ricardo and Lucille Ball. I'm like Lucy. I'm like, I love Lucy, my whole family. Didn't I tell you guys about the ice machine thing? The, not the ice machine, the ice. Oh my God. So, my daughter and her partner, her, her husband were here. My daughter, my older daughter, the one that lives in Japan, she is obsessed with ice water. She drinks ice water. Like, everyone else drinks soda or whatever. Okay? And so, she and her husband are here. And we had some friends staying here, too. Some friends were visiting. And then, you know, so anyway. In the morning, I got up, because I had to take the baby to school. Right? I got up really early, because school starts really early here. School starts like at... 7.30 or 7, something like that. And if she sings in the choir, she has to be at school at 7. And so anyway, I have to get up early. So I get up really early. <laughs> and my daughter's a night owl. And she's, she works, she does, works online. So, you know, and she works, her clients are all over the world. So she could be up all night or she could sleep at night. I mean, she, based on what project she's doing. A little bit like you, Susan. She could be up all night. She could get up at 2.30 in the morning to work with people. Anyway, so I get up, and we have company, these guests, right? And that, and I and I tell them I'm going to get up to go to take my daughter to school. And I ask the, the wife of the person that stings, and I'm like, if you want to get up with me, you have to get up at, you know, I'm leaving at, you know, it takes about a half an hour to get to school. So I'm leaving like, I don't know, quarter to seven? So that means 
I've gotten up like at 5.30 or whatever. So I get up. I'm trying to be super quiet because of the guests, you know. And then my daughter and her husband are here. And the little one and I are in the kitchen. And I'm making, you know, I go to, I'm going to make myself some coffee. But it's still dark in my house. Like the light didn't get daylight till much later, right? So it's still dark in my house. And I'm tiptoeing, trying to be all quiet and, and everything. And I get it, and our kitchen is small. It's sort of like a galley kitchen, you know, like we're one door on one end and one door on the other end. And the door on the other end, like it opens up to the garage. You guys, I'm tiptoeing in the kitchen. I'm going to go to make myself some coffee. I'm just thankful that I hadn't made myself coffee and had this happen. So the ice must have, when my daughter made herself ice in the middle of the night or whatever, my older daughter, some of the ice must have fallen on the floor and our whole house is tile. You guys, I step on the ice and I, my feet fly out from under me and my feet are up in the air over my head. <laughs> and I'm like, the next thing you know, like I'm crashing to the ground. You guys, it was like, it was totally like, I love Lucy. And my friend, she was visiting. She was like out of her mind. She started laughing. She said, I looked like one of those like, um, she said like a slow motion, you know, like where you see like the banana peel kind of slip. One of my feet up in the air, down on the ground. You guys, I'm telling you, that's how I roll. <laughs> anyway, she was like, she was in fits of laughter. I was laughing. She was laughing. Needless to say, everybody woke up. Can't help it. It's just, that's how life works sometimes. You can't help it. So... Anyway, see, stuff happens to me, you guys. I can't even, like, even if I don't want it to, it does. Even if I don't want it to. So, like, nothing's safe around me. I'm going to have a Lucy moment no matter what. I am going to have a Lucy moment no matter what. Just how it works. The live chat's not working for you, Lynn. I'm sorry, I don't know. I don't think there's anything I can do. And maybe what I would tell you to do is turn your computer off or however you're watching it, turn your device off and turn it back on and log back in. Sometimes, you know what, that happened to me today at Carla's. When I was over on Ustream, I couldn't even, I couldn't get into, uh, Mary Kay saying she was painting using some sort of reds and somebody thought you cut yourself. I know, right? It's ridiculous. I'm a crafter. I'm such a craft. <laughs> I'm ridiculous is what it is. Oh my God, you guys. I couldn't, I have a ridiculous life. You know what? I just have to be, it, one day I'll tell you guys some of my stories of me and my sister. She and I have had the most, I can't even tell you guys. You know, the kind of stuff that happens to you where you laugh so hard that you're crying because, and you're just, and you're in shock because, like, how could this actually be happening to you? Does anybody else have that, or is that just me? Okay, so I only need two more pages with lace, but I need them to be kind of fluffier lace because that's what was in the other one, or I need to trade, turn my, pa trade my pages around. I'm just trying to find the lace that I used before, but I don't even know what I used because I'm not... I don't have it together. I'm like, I can't, I can't figure it out. Okay, what are we talking about? You have a question. You're making these birds and hearts in the same size to go in a book. How do you string? How do you string the hearts and the birds? Well, no, Fiona Jane, I didn't hurt myself. I mean, I hurt my pride, probably. But it was just ridiculous because I was asleep on top of it. But it was, like, more embarrassing because I was with friends. Okay, so you're asking how you how you string them together like a banner? Well, if you were going to do it that way, Danina, what I would do is at the top of them is I would either poke a small hole and or either poke a small hole and I don't have one of them in front of me. I would either 
put a hole through it where you can put loop a piece of lace through it or loop a piece of string through it so you could run something this direction or um or glue some fabric on the top of the bird like the top of the well, in the middle of the back or the top of the tail or oh victor we're happy you're back you could glue you could glue cord to them Denine, are you doing it today or can you wait till Friday and I'll try to and I'll and I can demonstrate for you on Friday. I mean I've only hung my I haven't hung them as a banner, but you can hang them as a banner. It's not impossible. You know you can um you could put something like a tag. I mean you could put a hole in the top like a tag. I, I've done, that's how I've done it. I've also done it where I've, where I've put a loop in it. Let's see if I have one of those birds. Where did I put them? I had them all on my table, you guys, and then I moved them all off and I don't know. Let me see. Let's see. Let's see if I have one close by. The ones that are hanging in my window are better than these the ones that I've made here. But hang on. Let me just see if I can, give me a second. Let me see if I can find them if they're close within reach. Okay. See, there's one that I made like this, Danina. Can you see it? I made like an eye for it. Do you see? Can you see that? And I can show you how to do that if that's what you want to do. Oh, like you want to hang it like a journaling charm? Yeah, so you can do it this way. I would, I would make one of these, or you could just put a piece of ribbon on it. And make it like a loop or let me find the other one where I poke the hole directly through the bird and do you see this little tiny one little tiny bird do you see where the red is on the little tiny bird I poked a hole directly through the bird do you see like that can you see it Can you see? So I can show you how to do either one. Or you could poke a hole in the top and you could glue a ribbon in. I mean, uh, you know, tie a ribbon in. This has just got a piece of thread. You can do the same thing with your hearts. But this is super easy. This is just a wire wrap and then I just stuck it inside. I glued it in. It's like, a, you know, like a head pin. And I glued it inside. I glued it inside. And because it's cardboard and then you could string it to anything you could string it you know hanging it from anything so what are you guys writing on this in it um and in my signature these signatures only have 13 pages in them total I mean obviously when you fold it they end up being 26 pages you know what? I don't know how many blank pages I'm going to put in it. I, I, I have them blank right now, but if you wanted to put like, um, I did them blank. I have like, this I think has like a ledger, a music, and a map, and then the rest are blank. So 10 blank pages, but I figure the blank pages really aren't going to be blank because I'm going to put, um, I'm going to put pockets in them and envelopes and different stuff on them and if I'm going to use pattern paper I'm, I'm going to go ahead and put like I can glue a, a patterned envelope in there that I make out of some pattern paper or I could paint some I, I was thinking I don't know if I'm going to put this one has flowers in it I was thinking I might put some vintage ladies in it I don't know I just have to see what I have a while back I printed out some vintage movie stars I might put those in it I don't know but mine has, it has 13 pages in each signature, folded in half will be 26, and so I've only done three or four pattern pieces, maybe I've done four pattern pieces, you know, like a map page, music page, or a ledger paper, and then the rest of them are blank. But that's because I, I didn't hurt myself hurt my pride more than anything, Phaedra. I didn't hurt myself at all. That was ridiculous. You know what? You know what it was, though? My friends, you know, they were like, <laughs> they were like, 
you know, only you at 5 o'clock in the morning can fly, have your feet fly above your head and still keep going. I'm like, well, what else was I going to do? I mean, I could have laughed or cried. It wouldn't have changed any of it, right? So. But, and you know what? You don't have to leave them blank. You can do it any way you want. But that's just what I've done. Because I didn't quite know what I'm going to do with the journal. I don't know if it's going to be a, you know... I'm assuming I'm going to use it as a writing journal, but I'm going to want to put some pockets in it and different things like that. So that's what I did. But I don't think there's any hard and fast rules. I mean, I think it's all up to what you want to do. I think it's up to you and how you view it. There's no right or wrong. You know? There is no right or wrong. Some people use all pattern paper. Like in my trashy junk journals or my junk, junk, junky journals, I don't even know if I even have any blank paper in there. I think everything that I have has, is like patterned of some sort. And then where I would put my blank paper would be if I was going to make tags or stuff like that so that it, I could journal on the tags or... Does that make sense? But in this one, um, I think I'm going to... I have to decide. I may go and I may paint some ephemera. I may make some painted ephemera for it. I haven't quite decided. I was going to make some, some, page, some book page envelopes for it today, but I didn't do that. I'll, I'll try to do that for next week. I'll make a template and then show you guys how to do it. And then, I know we've made a million envelopes, but I need to make them the size of the pages for this. So let me see how many do I have now that have stuff on them. Let's see. One, two. This one definitely needs some clips on it. It's going to come off. I was, but there's no rule. You know, there's no rule, Anne. You know, you make it up as you go along. You know, if you wanted to have, if you wanted to have your whole thing with images, you could do your whole thing with images. I mean, you know what? You guys can take the same premise and make any junk journal, make any journal this way. I mean, you don't have to do it exactly the way I'm doing it, but I'm just saying you can... This is the same process no matter what journaling, what journal you make. Okay? You make it exactly the same way. You, you put together your page, your signatures, your pages. So I have one, two, I have two, I have my glue on my arm. So, I mean, you can make it any way you want. You don't, there's no... Let's see, one, two, three, four, these can come off. Ugh. Okay, I think I have enough, I don't know, let's just check it out and see. Now I can move them all around. I may, if I like them differently, different, I can move them around, right? But this, look how big it's going to be, guys. And that's only, that's not even that big of a journal. But I mean, look at, <laughs> I think I might have put too much lace in. What do you think? And I didn't even put that much lace in. <laughs> oh my gosh, what are you writing? I'm missing it. Okay, let's see. You like it, bet? Oh, good. It's it's lacy, that's for sure. I might need to move my pages around. Look at it. Oh my God, you guys, this is like a a Southern Belle's dress. It looks easier because I'm doing it. You know what it is? Because you girls are hanging out with me and watching my mess. I'm gonna have to think of another way to close it because there's no way that envelope is gonna close it. And then I definitely want to do something on the spine. I want to do some sort of a, 
don't know if I'm going to do lace or fabric or something, but I want to do something here. I'm going to sew it, I think, first, and then go back and cover the spine with something. <laughs> Call it scarlet. It is totally a scarlet. It is totally, like, a gone with the wind journal, okay? We haven't even gotten to the good part. <laughs> you guys, it's so ridiculous. <laughs> oh, laugh. You guys are so too much funny. It is fluffy. It's like really fluffy. Scarlet is fluffy. She has got it going on. Oh, my God, you guys. Look how big it is. I'm going to have to, like, figure something out. And it's very, I think if I do it again, I'm going to do it, I, I'm going to tea dye or, these are, are beige laces and I like them, but I think if I do it again next time, I'm going to maybe, I don't think I can do it this time without messing it up, but next time I think I'll paint the lace so that it's all different colors. Maybe I'll make, okay, I'm going to make a shabby chic journal like everybody else and then I'm going to make my funky style shabby chic journal and then you guys can tell me which one you like better. This is more of a mainstream funky, uh, mainstream shabby chic journal. What happened? I'm missing it. It's it's fluffy. It's it's really fluffy. I might have to use up some curtains. Yes, and I probably would. Oh my God! Oh, Danina, please, you know. I could spray it, tea dye it now. I, I could. I might. I might do it tomorrow. I'm not going to do it right now because I'm kind of liking the way it is. But see, and this is my thought, okay? I don't even have a pocket. I thought I made a couple over here. So, the, the blank pages, like, they need, so now I'm going to go back. I'm not going to sew it together yet. I'm going to go back and I'm going to decide, okay, do I want, like, a pocket here? Do I want, um some do I want a tuck spot up here if so I need to you know make some little bit for a tuck spot here the same thing here right so I'm going to flip through and then I might rearrange my pages well I have it upside down so that would help if I had it right side up but I'm going to rearrange I may rearrange my pages right and then I would like to sew on it but I have to wait till I get all I have to clean I have to reach my thread in the garage um Oh, Laurel says she loves it. I can never have too much fluff. So then I'm going to decide. So the next step would be, now that I've got my pages laced up, I'm going to let them dry. Next step would be to decide, okay, I'm going to start making some pockets. So I'm going to make my pockets outside of the journal. And we can do that next Friday if you guys want. And I'm going to make them out of, I'll make like vintage looking book page envelopes, right? And then we can decide, okay, where they're going to go, right? And then if I'm going to make some, some, make some, bring in a circle punch and we'll make some little rosettes and some, some stuff like that. Or I'll put my vintage ladies in it. I don't know, right? Now, if you guys have any pearl bling, this would be a good time to do. I, it is a little loud, Danina, but I like it. It's big puffy. You know me, I can't, it is totally Scarlet O'Hara. I can't. <laughs> it looks like it's going to share dancing. Oh my God, square dancing. Uh, oh, I made a square dancing. I could, I could have made a square dancing journal. So then, and the next thing I'm going to decide is I'm going to decide, okay, because I've done the outside sort of pinky red, I think I'm going to see what I have in the pinky red family. And I'm, maybe I'll add some pinky reds to it. You know, I'll add some flowers. And I'm still not going to sew it together, okay? Because if I don't, if, if I, I'm, I'm going to wait till the, almost the very end before I sew it together. Now, this is just what works for me. If your process works better for you to sew your pages together and then add your lace, do it. For me, my pages, for me, it works better this way because I've had to unsew things too many times. It does look like it's going to go square dancing. It is kind of loud, but I like it though. I'm not, I'm not not liking it. It has got some, I love the lace. Thank you, Fiona. So, I mean, thank you, Phaedra, so much. I love it. See, but I think I have a couple of browns going on here. I may, may do some brown bits. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll coffee dye the lace. You know, and there's like one little lace tab. 
May I do that. I, I mean, I have put some things in it. Like, it does have some, like, it does have a couple of corner pockets, and it has some tuck spots. But before I sew it together, I'm going to decide, okay, what is my next? I'm, pocket, uh, making little envelopes is going to be next. And then... After that, I'll try. I'll do the tuck spots, and then and then I'll sew it together, right? And then after I sew it together, then I'm gonna decide what I'm gonna put on the spine, right? I'm gonna put maybe I'll put a piece of lace on the spine. Maybe maybe this is where I'll take my fabric, my you know that this piece of fabric that I dyed. I got a mess here, you guys. You know me. I can't craft neat. Maybe I'll take a piece of this and I'll cut a piece of this. Or maybe I'll take this that I've tea dyed and I'll put this on it and then put those flowers on top. You know, those flowers that I had. Mary Kay says, God, really. Danina says she's making each one for her kids for Christmas. Oh, Danina, you're so sweet. You know what, you guys, I can't, I've unsewed so many things, I can't even tell you. Good night, Phaedra. I'm so happy you joined us. See you, see you on Friday. Now, this is just my process, Anne. If your process is, works out better for you to sew them in, do it. I'm just telling you it works for me, because I change my mind all the time. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh, well, I like that. Well, maybe I'd like it this way, and then if I've sewed it all together, I can't take it out. That's just me, though, you know? Have I made it like so slow that you guys are like thinking I'm like crazy remedial? I am crazy remedial always. I mean, I'm liking it. It is really foofy. And maybe I could have done it less foofy. Maybe I could have done less, less lace on it and made it less foofy. <laughs> Fiona Jane is having too much fun making the hundredth birthday card. Good night, Phaedra. Thank you for my lace. I'm loving it so much. I'm going to love this journal when I'm done. And thank you for my ledger paper and my music paper. I think I used both of the things that you sent me in here. The coffee dyed them. And, one, and the map pages are what you sent me too from that book that you sent me. I, I coffee dyed it too. I coffee dyed a, she sent me a, a, an atlas and I coffee dyed some pages. <laughs> you're learning from me well you can go through my failure together okay Danina you know what the best thing for me is hanging out with you guys but you know what's also exciting for me is that you know as I'm doing my process of making whatever it is I'm making you guys can see me and then in talking to you I know that I'm not alone when I say hey, are you the only one that does this and then I see all of you go no I do it too it makes it it makes it like okay well I'm not I'm not doing this by myself, or or there is more to it than that, or no, it's just as simple as this, or try that, you know? Anne saying that she was the same, her first was tiny and difficult to add stuff in, and she just did not get to see it, get it seen, wait, and this one did not get seen and get sewn in until today. You know what? It's like, I'm just telling you what's worked for me. Because I've watched the same videos you guys have where people are doing their beautiful flip-throughs and you're just like, oh my god, that's so amazing. Like, I can't possibly do that because it's overwhelming. But if you start out every single journal, I'm going to find some of the ones that I have. As soon as, I, you know, I have to get myself a little... I really need Calamari to come and live with me for a little while. <laughs> no, because she'd probably throw out all my stuff. <laughs> hey, Amberly. <laughs> it is a lot of lace, Mildred. It is. It's, it's actually not a lot of lace, but it looks like a lot of lace put together, right? I mean, even if you did a singular signature, okay, even if you just decided you were just going to do it singular signature, it looks great. I mean, this is a 20, if you did it singular signature, this is a 26-page envelope journal. Anybody could do this. 
This is not difficult. A 26 page envelope journal, you could do this. We covered the page, we covered the envelope with book pages. I covered the inside with a map page, I mean with a music page. You know, you could do this. It's not hard. You've been adding some lace and some some brick brack. Yeah, and you know, the cool thing is, is if you wanted to get super fancy, I have some, but I don't have it in front of me. I know I have some pearls. Or you could take, you know those Nouveau drops that look like little pearl or like paint, paint, puff paint? If you got them pearlized, you could go ahead and put little pearl drops down here and do like more dimensional stuff. Good night, Mildred. Huge hug. See you on Friday, okay? So, you know, the thing is, is that I think, hugs, Mildred. Calamari, stay away. <laughs> oh my God, you guys. I laughed so hard. Susan made my day. That made me cry. I laughed so hard. Susan, calamari. And you guys, we were, the word, the funniest thing is that we were all like sitting here and she asked, what's calamari? And we all like, oh, squid or octopus or whatever. Oh my God. But do you see, if you wanted to just make a 20 page junk journal, that's 10 pages folded. You could do this in no time. You could have yourself a cute shabby chic journal. I'm going to see if I can find my puff paint or what, you know, and I'll try to do some embellishment on the pages, like go back and do some, if you had pearls, you could glue them down. Um, or bling. <laughs> All I can say is, Victor, I love you. That's so tactful. Did you read what Victor wrote, girls? Victor, you must have successful relationships with women. He says, for now, I like this journal, but I think it will look better when you decorate it. Yes, you're right, Victor. It will look a lot better when I decorate it. It's just, it's it, it's in the plain stage. I mean, before now, it was just plain paper. But no, it's not decorated. It just has lace. I'm just showing you my process. <laughs> of course it's going to look better. I just have to decide if I'm going to put vintage ladies in it or if I'm going to put, I don't know. I made one like this with paper dolls, you guys, and it was my favorite journal I ever made. I made it for a swap, and of course I sent it off, and I don't even think I took pictures of it because back then I was like, I didn't know, but I made a similar style journal with paper dolls and I printed the paper dolls off of Pinterest, but they were paper dolls from the forties. So the front had a pocket in it and it had paper dolls hanging out of it. These paper dolls from the forties. And then inside all the pockets had paper dolls and I loved it. You think I need to do birds and flowers? I did bring a flower stamp over here with me. I was going to use it, but I, I don't know yet. Because what I was thinking is, and maybe you guys can give me some input, is I was thinking of making a couple of small library pockets. And I was also thinking of, but I was thinking of trying to find some stuff that went with these colors, you know, so that I could, you know, add some of those colors and some more of these browns in there. Thanks, Joyce. Oh, uh, Victor. Victor, you're so tactful. Yes, it is in its plain Jane stage. It needs, it, it's not decorated, it just has lace. So, Anne, next, on next Tuesday, we will continue. Friday, we're going to do um, some Christmas in July. Um, I think we're going to continue making our birds and hearts. We're going to make trees and angel wings. And I will scan and get a pattern in our Facebook group so that you can cut it out and make a long. So all you need is cardboard and book pages for that. And napkins if you want to decorate it. So next week we will do the um, the envelopes, the little envelopes, and all the little sort of decorating stuff that's going to go in here. You know, we won't do all of it, but maybe, you know, some flowers. If I'm going to, if I decide to do flowers, then I'll look for leaves and flowers or flower stamps. I brought some flower stamps over here. I thought maybe I would use, like, one. I have a couple of flower stamps. I thought maybe I would use one. Like, I have this little tiny flower stamp. It's kind of a cute floral stamp. And there's a border stamp. And these are Prima stamps, I think. So I think I may, you know, I was, 
will stamp some stuff. What I'm going to do though is I'm not going to stamp directly on the paper. Okay, this is one thing I do want to share with you guys. I have made journals when I have got to the end and I've decided that it needs stamping. Okay, and I've stamped onto the pages and I've messed it up because like the stamp didn't either stamp fully or it's was something was up with it. So from that point on, because then, you know, if you've looked at it and if you're critical of your work like I am, you'd be like, oh man, now I have to start over. What I am going to do is if I'm going to do any stamping, I'm going to stamp on, I made extra tea dyed paper. I don't I have a stack of it somewhere around here. I'm going to stamp my images onto that tea dyed paper and then I will glue in my stamps. I glue in my images and I may like put some other paper behind it. So that way if I don't like it or if I mess it up I won't. Um, do you know what I'm saying? Am I making sense or am I just like chatting to myself? So yeah, so next week we'll work on that. Alright, you guys, who, who did their serendipity paper? Did anybody besides me do their serendipity paper? If you made your serendipity paper flowers, those are going to be, we'll use some of those um, in our in, um, in the postcards that we can continue making. What I wanted to show you before, oh, I wanted to show you the books that I gutted, and then I'm going to show you my coffee dyed paper, and then I'll, I'll give you guys a hug and a kiss and tell you goodbye. If you're, and if you want to leave, leave, I'm not telling you have to stay, but I've gone as far as I'm going to go on my shabby sheet. So sometimes you get books and they, and the cover's not particularly nice, right? You get it. I mean, it, this is nice because it's got a, um, I like this one because it's, it, it's an old book. It was made in the fifties and I liked it because it was like a red linen and I cut the stuff out of it. I left the fly leaf. I left the fly leaf and the first page on both sides, right? And this one I'm going to make a trashy junk journal, uh, not a trashy junk journal, a um, flows journal out of. I am going to do something to the spine of it. I've got to reinforce the spine on the inside before I do it, but I'm going to leave the pages in case they want to keep them, right? But look at these. These two I'm also making. Um, I'm also making flourish journals out of, okay, this one's called Out on the Limb. I think it was an also from the 1950s. But look why I saved the fly leaves. The book cover itself isn't fabulous, but like, look at this. That's a good idea. African stamp and use decoupage. Great idea. Isn't this fabulous? Do you not love this? Look at the vintage paper in here. And it was the flyleaf of the book. I think it's gorgeous. I completely love it. Isn't it? So the front and the back are the same. So I spent extra time and kept the fly and kept the fly leaves intact. Isn't it nice? Isn't it gonna be like an amazing flourish journal? I think so. So I kept that and then wait till you see the other one. This one I love. Okay, do you guys ever get these textbooks? These are from the 60s. This one, and the book itself has got really nice book cloth on it. And I love the, the cover of it. <laughs> what a year you made in the 50s. Um, you are a good, a, a good thing. You're a collectible item that so I love this book. It's a book of popular science. I love the cover. I love the embossed too, right? So, you know, whoever, I mean, you she could decoupage over it, but wait till you see the inside. Ready? Isn't that fabulous? It's got the cause. It's got like the Milky Way in there. Isn't it beautiful? Seasoned, Susan, is that what you say? Seasoned? Isn't it cool? Oh, I like it too. And then I kept a few of the pages and then the fly leaf is the same in the back. I thought it was great. Isn't it cool? So I don't want you guys, you know, I know you guys are always know I'm scouring for like old books and stuff like that. And generally I go for the covers. 
But the covers on these aren't particularly spectacular, although I do love this popular science one. I think it's going to be a great, a great um, flowish journal. But I love the fly leaves. I love the fly leaf of this Adam Alem. It's like so, I just love it. So I found, when I was cleaning out, I found the box of books. That's why I'm showing them to you. I didn't, I gutted these a while back, but <laughs> I have a whole box of covers that I've gutted to make flowish journals, but because they were in the back of my space. <clears throat> so on these, you sometimes I put pockets on the inside. You know, I, so I glue pockets on the inside. I'm not going to on these because I want the person that receives it I like the galaxy image too, Anne. Isn't it beautiful? And it does look like a hurricane, kind of. But I want whoever receives it to be able to have the the, the choice to use the pages instead of instead of me putting a pocket over it. Because usually I make some fabric pocket. I don't know. What are you saying, Amberly? I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Closed or clothes? Or what? I don't know what you're referring to, except my my bad speech. Is that what it is? <laughs> it could be that too. So these are some books. I have a couple other ones to show you, but I'll show you those guys next time. But I was going to show you my coffee dyed paper today. What I did today, earlier today, I coffee dyed some paper. Um, because I didn't know if I was going to work on that big journal. So I coffee dyed these. These are these I got at a thrift store a long, long time ago. They look like they were wedding invitation envelopes because of the foil. Victor's saying today in his live stream he's gonna do decoupage on brown paper. Brown paper bags. No, not a close. It's not a closed journal, meaning of the closure for your journal. If you want to tie it, or you want to, so many times I put like, um, if you're making an envelope journal, you would poke a hole in it and you'd wrap a string around it. I don't have any by me, you guys. I cleaned off everything. Oh, I'm getting like a closure for your journal, like a C L O S U R E closure. So I coffee to <laughs> clo closure closure for your journal. You know, like something to keep your journal closed because once you start filling it up, you don't want it to stay open. It has like that alligator mouth. Did I miss something that you said? You guys are so funny. Oh no, Lynn. How old is your baby? So these are what I did. So what I did was I took some coffee, I brewed a cup of strong coffee, and I used, I was going to bring it over here to show you. Do you guys, I got these when I was in South America. They're like those swimmer's towels, but they sell them in the supermarket there, and I cut a piece off of it. Good night, Anne. See you Friday. So... This is like a like a chamois kind of cloth. And I just cut a piece off of it and I dipped it into the coffee and I just went like this. And then I baked it on a baking sheet. And look, they all came, I think they came out cool. Now I could have done it where it was more even, but I like it like this. And I love the way the paper sounds. So I coffee dyed all this paper. Okay, I coffee dyed music pages. And they're all different. And they're all... And then I coffee dyed some of this paper. So you're right, it does come out darker. I just don't. This and it doesn't smell so bad. It does smell like coffee. Yeah, I can put a ribbon closure around a ribbon toggle or whatever. Yeah, no, I think that's a great idea. I think that's super good. Good night, Anne. Yeah, it smells a little like coffee. It doesn't smell as bad. I've made coffee dyed papers before that really smelled like coffee. I think it must have been the coffee that I had. Lynn, okay, my advice to you, and I'm not a doctor, but my advice, because I've had so much experience with kids, just make sure the baby it doesn't get dehydrated. Do you have popsicles? I mean, I used to give my kids popsicles when they got like that. 
so that they would at least have some sort of sugar and stuff in their system. But if, you're, if the baby's still sick tomorrow, I would definitely go to the doctor. You know, because little kids can get dehydrated so fast. Good night, Tina. Brenda, it doesn't really smell like that bad like coffee. I've done it before where it smells really, really heavy-duty coffee. You know? Good night, Laurel. I love you, ladies. Thanks for hanging out with me. I love the crinkly sound of this paper, too. It's, like, addictive, right? The crinkly sound is addictive? Totally is. Absolutely. Thanks, Laurel. I hope you sleep good. Oh, Lynn, I hope your baby's okay. Now you, I'm going to be sending you some healing thoughts. Oof. And kids are sick. It's so, it's so stressful. Oh, I, I could have used... Uh, that's a great tip. Amberly says she used hazelnut coffee. So, hazelnut coffee would be good. I, I didn't even think about it, and I actually did have hazelnut coffee. I was just thinking that I was going to make myself a cup of coffee and made enough to put to dye some papers well i didn't know if i was gonna i may cut up some of these pieces and put them in the journal you know like for the pockets that i was gonna make i'm thinking i may i may do them with this and also some book pages prinda says she loves coffee the coffee smell but not on paper <laughs> i get it brenda i totally get it i totally get it guys are so funny. Tea doesn't smell at all. You're right. I've tea dyed a million things that don't smell. Brenda says she put her paper in a bag and like a plastic Ziploc bag so that her wouldn't smell for house. Well, I get it. I totally get it. Well, ladies, I am going to bid you girls a fond adieu. I love you so much. Thank you for hanging out with me with my big Scarlet O'Hara journal that I will continue to work on next week. Next week we'll do the pockets and the tuck spots. It does have a few tuck spots because we added them last week, but it'll do more formal, and then we'll start to decorate it. So, And I'll give you a list of stuff that I'm going to use. And yes, you're right, I could do a ribbon closure, a ribbon wrapped around it. I could also do something this direction too, you know, where the rib, where that stays this way. I could do something this direction which I may I don't know we'll see well ladies I am so grateful that you're with me oh you just gave her Pedialyte good Lynn I'm gonna send you healing thoughts and prayers because having a sick baby I know how stressful that is oh my gosh I've done it so many times one of my kids was so allergic to things it was like it was like a constant I think she was like that way for like seven years it was ridiculous but I'm sending you prayers. Mm. I worry too, Lynn. When babies are little, I worry. Well, I'll see you girls on Friday. The same time. We may probably won't go as late on Friday. Who knows? Maybe we will. But Friday we will make, um, we'll finish, we'll work on our Christmas in July. You bring whatever project you want to bring, okay? And we can always talk, discuss, um, we can always discuss any, any projects that we have going on. Okay, ladies. Breathe in. And breathe out. And it's always from my heart to your heart. I'm sending you so, so, so much aloha. Always, always, always. Lynn, sending you so many, sending you so much love for the, that baby, okay? All right, I'm sending you so much love for the baby. And, yep, holler at us. If you're on Facebook, Facebook is if you need anything. I'll still be awake for a long time because it's early here. That would be nice if you guys gave me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. I love you girls. Thanks for hanging with me. Thanks for liking my Scarlet. She d it looks like a tutu, but maybe we can call it the tutu journal. Anyway, love you. See you on Friday, okay? See you on Friday.